Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Patea. Welcome back to Jomtian Beach. Welcome back to another afternoon or morning or evening, wherever you are watching around the world, of top level stand up paddling action. Sour D Cup. Sour D Cup to all of you. Uh, my name is Ross Solly. Excited, super excited to bring you another round of technical racing. We're in, talking about heats. We're about to get underway for the first of the junior heats in just a matter of minutes. With me in the commentary box, Matthew Astier, the voice, the face, the body of Total Sup. He's here. He's been off. He's uh, refreshed himself during the lunch break. He's had a good, long, hard look at himself. He's had a, a look at his the way he's been approaching his uh, his attitude this week and uh, his reckless attitude last night eating ridiculous food that made him very very sick but he's uh, he's come back he's refocused he's ready to bring his a game this afternoon Matthew hello everybody and hello Ross we are we've got an action-packed afternoon of technical racing here on the beach of Jomtien in uh, Pattaya Thailand and look at who is in the middle of your screen it is the new junior world champion in long distance the 15 year old Claudia Postiglione and uh, I guess now a favorite for uh, the technical race well, it's a, division. It's a, it's a packed field though. We've got uh, Scotty Langbein in there. Uh, we've got uh, Kanaeshi Bahara who yep. was fourth. Alexi Soto yesterday. is in there of course. Uh, she's here. But she she's, has not, been, she's not. She's, she's injured, not. She's injured. That's right. Yes. Athlete who was in the top four last year. Actually was a uh, top four, uh, top four uh, from Spain uh, in the junior women's last year in Poland. But uh, so we've got twelve oh, that entered. That was in 2021. Sorry, of yeah, course, yeah. last year Cecilia Pampinella was the, uh, yes, the junior course. world champion. So we have twelve entered. Uh, let's just do a quick count there, Matthew. How many can we see there on the start line? One, two. Th oh, it's a bit hard to see. There's a couple of people crouching down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. I think we've got a full field of twelve, or maybe eleven. No, uh, if Alex Asciotto is not here, that yeah, would so be, be eleven. Eleven, and so for the juniors, <coughs> one to six. One to six. So the top six athletes will go straight through to the semi-final. And then it's the uh, the next six best times. The next best six times after that will go into the next round. So that's Caddy Langbain. Now well, I got a bit of uh, I, I did a bit of uh, research, uh, chatted to a couple of athletes. Oh, did you? you? I thought I'd try a different approach and see if I could learn some stuff. <laughs> uh, no, I um, I ran into had a quick chat with Tommy Boudet, who told me how uh, he's super excited he is to be here paddling and. What a great morning he had, and he told me uh, that um, apparently with the wind, some of the some of the boys out there they're tied quite loosely, and when the wind was blowing it around, the ropes were sometimes catching some of the athletes out, and they were tripping over some of the ropes, and it was causing some issues for the athletes. So uh, that might be an issue that they might have to have a look at a little bit later on in terms of uh, making sure that the boys aren't getting in the way of the athletes. So uh, again, uh, it's one lap for the, uh, for the heats, 500 meters. Top six athletes will all go through. Let's see if we can, and again, we've got these bloody yellow bibs with the white numbers just to test us out here. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's lucky we know uh, quite a few of these athletes. Yep. And uh, the favorite or pre-race favorite, should I say, Claudia Postiglione from Italy, from the south of Italy, from Tarento, is the third from the left on your screen. And uh, in second, we've got uh, Skadi Langbein, also a top junior sub-racer from uh, Germany. Kanae Shibahara, that's the SIC Maui board. In lane number four. Ooh, Claudia Postiglione goes down. What a bad start for her. Uh, oh, and down again on both sides. Twice. Oh, what? And struggling to get back on now. Oh, my goodness. She's lost a lot of ground. I don't know how she can catch up and to the uh, field there. She only has to finish top six, but uh, that is a disastrous start for the Italian. Skadi Langbein, though, from Germany in front. There is, uh, I think, a Chinese, uh, or is it from Singapore, athlete in the middle there between the Japanese 
Shibahara on the SIC Maui board. Who's got the inside? That's the NSP board. Oh, someone almost takes a dive. Very hard with these yellow bibs with the white uh, with the white numbers on it to work out who's who. But and we do uh, know at the back there, there we can see second from the end, it is uh, Claudia Postiglione who is after falling off at the start and then struggling to get back on, she has got a lot of work to do to get up into the top six. Yeah, well, if she does, it is definitely a wake-up call for the uh, young Italian from Tarento. Claudia Postiglione, the new long-distance world champion who started in the worst of the manners, falling not just once but twice in a row at the start of that uh, technical race quarterfinal Number one in she the juniors division. She's working her way through the. Oh, she's work, oh, she's caused some drama. She's working her way through the field, though. You can see her there, sneaking up through the field, and uh, trying to get herself into a position to challenge for a top six. For a top six, that's all she needs to do to get through. That would be a huge, a huge story, if in the first women's uh, junior heat, if she is out. But at the front. Have we been able to get a, I can see a five in there and I can see a three. So I'm going. Oh, that is Shibahara. Yep. In second, huh? Behind in us, second. Kenny Langbein. Yep, yep. I think That's it. the SIC Maui board that we were trying to identify for a good part of the long distance yesterday. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. we uh, did manage to, to get the right name. Fortunately, uh, the son of a board, though, at the front of the German junior champ. Skadi Langbein in first place. Shibahara from Japan in second. Who have we got in third? Uh, well, I'm help I'm us out here because uh, well, we I'm going, are I'm going to take a stab with the with the numbers. The, uh, with the, uh, the pasty the pasty New Zealand legs. Quite possibly, it might be Rosara David Rosara Davis. Possibly, do you think in uh, in third? So the Let's top six go through. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Athletes have just passed that green buoy. Now pushing hard is the Japanese Kanae Shibahara on the SIC Maui board. Actually, a different SIC board. I think she had a, uh, a flat water board yesterday. I think it's a different uh, model. I think that's the RS and Skadi Langbein. Pretty comfortable at the front. The German through. Let's just try and see. There we are in the. Ooh. Uh, in the background, what number have we got there? I think it could be. Is Char it the Charlie's Lim, maybe? Is it the... Uh, no, I think it's a New Zealander, is it? Let's wait oh, and Rosara see. Oh, Rosara Davis. Rosara Let's Davis just wait and see when she gets to the finish three line. 373, Rosara Davis. Yes. Well spotted, Ross. From New Zealand. Three more to go to get uh, one of those... Uh, to grab one of those advancing positions. Here's Claudia Postiglione. She did manage to... Wow. Uh, get her qualification but what a scare what a tough race for, for her uh, claudia postiglione she's who, a uh, who will remember this one for sure going ahead into the semi-final big effort though for her to uh, to work her way through the field and all right uh, so let's move on now to the second heat with uh, and in a this big one field, a big strong field too with uh, Velia Pizzanelli from Italy, Naya Pinteric from Slovenia, Shi Yung Wang from Taipei, Eftikia Alexandraki from Greece, Nakanosaki from Japan, Amelio, Amelia Moral from Spain, Maria Kuklinu from Greece, Ling Xuan Wu from China, Linda Sirovatkova from the Czech Republic, Hanna Kaminska from Poland, and Awala Fandi. From Malaysia, are they all here? Let's uh, do the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank 10 you. Out of eleven, might be uh, one or two athletes out of uh, out of the screen actually. Thank you, Sue, on our chat line for confirming that it was Rosie from New Zealand. So, uh, good effort there for uh, Rosie to come in third. She looked very, very strong. So, who are we watching here? We're watching Naya Pinterich is very good. Pisanelli, of course, good. Uh, the Japanese paddler is uh, is also very fast, so this is going to be a good race. Remember, only six go through, and is that uh, straight away? I think it's Pinterich, is it, who's gone? I think Naya Pinterich is uh, on, on the, the left-hand left side, side of the screen. On the NSP. Now, who's this in the red boardies? I think that's Alexandra Key from, uh, from Greece. I'd uh, like to think in the, uh, the red board shorts, maybe it's... Oh, it's very hard to tell. 
these uh, these numbers. And of course, being junior athletes, we haven't seen a lot of them. No, we have only seen really Naya Pinteris and uh, Alexandra Key. So, so three five nine, yes, on the NSP. That's definitely Alexandra Key. That is Naya Pinteris, the uh, canoe slalom champion, converted to uh, sub racing from Slovenia. So two. Those two girls are the front. Six uh, advancing position those for uh, for the semifinals. Just uh, can you make any of those numbers out for the paddler with the red board shorts? I'm, I'm sort of thinking maybe it's uh, it's not Hannah Kaminska, is it? Let's just. Uh, it could be Hannah Kaminska actually from Poland. Very strong paddler. Yes, I think it is. Well spotted there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is actually now that you see oh, she takes we put the title the on the board. Naya Pinteric is gonna <laughs> grab that first uh, that first position. Oh, Someone else and there's is another stack. Dive. It's all happening here on this sec second, and as a result, somebody's gone over to Malaysia. They've paddled all the way to Malaysia and they have to come back again. But uh, all the, the so, yeah, Hannah Kaminska now all recovering that pressure. her stance. All that pressure. She knew we we're all watching her, trying to work out uh, what number she was wearing. And it was too much pressure, and she took a stack there. But she's still, I think, in the top six. We'll just see there. Yeah, so she's still no. there in the middle of the field. So it's a very congested middle of the field there. So we've got the Greek in uh, third place on the NSP. There is uh, still Naya Pinteric at the front. So three NSP in front with that uh, Slovenian athlete in the lead. But uh, Alexandra Key is making her move. Who else have we got uh, in uh, in the background? Can you see at least one of these uh, numbers on the inside? So Pinterest, who's been very impressive all week, uh, again showing us that she's uh, she's adapted to stand up paddling pretty well, hasn't she, Matthew? She's come out this morning and uh, this afternoon, and this is a really good race now look at the congestion there sitting in the, in around the sixth position actually those four paddlers are all battling for two positions there are nine grouped athletes for Ooh, six watch this, spots watch this available corner. oh There's i knew that oh is, uh, what come falling. on come on let's stay on our boards let's tr let's have a good clean finish now this is oh there's mayhem there and i think uh, if it is indeed uh kaminska she's got herself into trouble again but now she's clear one, two, three, four, five, and the race for six is wide open as we head we've, towards uh, the finish we've line. We've identified the Slovenian champ in front, that is Naya Pinteric, who is in second. What number is that? Six something? Six, I six? It's six, uh, eight? I think it's a, is it a four at the end? Six, six. Vela, Vela Pisanelli. Vela Pisanelli, three, six, six, I think, from Italy in second place. And then, th oh no, not don't go in there. Oh my goodness, now you've got to get up and get back on that board. That Alexandra Q's just uh, oh. taken a dive. Oh, goodness me, there's stuff Naya happening all Pinteris. over the place. However, despite a bit of a wobble one, when she reached the beach, is uh, reaching in first. So who, wh what is that bit number? Come on, girls. Show us that uh, number. Really hard to tell who is who. 381. 381 just crossed. That is uh, Morale from Spain. Amelia Morale, she makes it through. 5. Two five. Uh, so it was Hannah Kaminska in the red board shorts. But very hard to. Uh, wow. So hard. You know what, Ross? Let's try and get those uh, faces matching uh, the numbers right from the start with Ines Blin, Chila Kokshish. Well, I know these two. Laura Tan from China. Kiryaki Logothetti, we will be able to identify her. Anna Hikova, uh, she's the tall, uh, dark-haired uh, athlete with a starboard. Kiara Vorster, we know what she looks like. Tana Porn Summit, Kirina Katikeyen from Malaysia. Cecilia Pampinella, of course, and Hiju Mo from Korea. Oh, so and somebody's had some problems already. Oh, so, so Kiara Voster on the NSP there from uh, South Africa. And is that Cecilia in the middle there? Uh, Cecilia Pampanella? No, uh, no, no. Sure. Where is she? I, I think, think with a miss, it would be Cecilia there with a Mistral hat. Just because she has been sponsored by Mistral, that's just a guess. On the left hand side, though, it's Chilak Kocic from uh, Hungary who uh, finished third yesterday in the uh, long distance. So we've got 
three champions at the top of the uh, of the race right now is Chiara Vorster from South Africa, who's uh, leading Cecilia Pampinella in second, Chilak Kochish in uh, third. Oh, oh, ouch. Oh, oh dear idea. That, oh, I felt that board, from here. Blocking uh, one another here. A, nothing like a paddleboard to the ribs to focus the mind and uh, to keep you in the right zone for paddling fast and staying on your board. So someone should be at the top, uh, someone else that we haven't talked about, uh, Kiriaki Logothetis should be uh, up there at the top as well as Ines Blin. She was in the uh, in uh, the so final last year. Is that Logothetis back there, I think, uh, sitting around so sixth? Yeah, I think that's her there, isn't it? In uh, fifth, and Ines Blin, or Ines Blin, she's got a French last name, but she lives in Spain. She's got a dual si citizenship, French-Spanish. I think that's Logothetti there, isn't it, at the back of that pack? So in Logothetti in, in fifth, I reckon. Absolutely. So who's got that sixth spot right now? Oh, well, another lots swim. Of falls, lots of falls in, this, uh, uh, in the junior races. Uh, this is uh, hit number three already, and we've had uh, many uh, dives. All right, so who have we got? Chiara Vorster, Cecilia Pampinella. I saw uh, Cecilia Pampanella last night and uh, she asked me for some advice how she could get up there from second to first. I said, just see if you can go faster than everybody else. I need to and have a better uh, be visual the, uh, of that person in two. I mean, I be first when you cross the finish line. It is her, isn't it? I, uh, I, yeah, I mean, it's uh, the, the Mistral, Mistral hat is so, some sort of a giveaway. But but that, but who's that in the middle? There? See that group of three? So who's that Chilak, in? Chilak Kocic is, in the, Kocic is in the middle from Hungary. We've got uh, Logoteti from Greece and Ines Blin. It's just that uh, I'm not used to seeing uh, Cecilia Pampinella with a hat on and uh, I just want to have confirmation but it would make sense of course for her to be uh, at the front. The 17-year-old uh, uh, has won it all. Champ from Italy, from Rome, Italy. But, but two silver medals so far this week and uh, that... I guess she's just set such a high standard for herself. We always expect her to be yeah, at the true. front. That is, uh, yes, that is definitely uh, Cecilia in front. Sitting there, seven nine behind her. That is uh, Chiara Velsta from South Africa, second, sitting second, and then in the yes, background. In there, the background, that's Ines Blin from uh, from Santa Pola Alicante in Spain. So we've got our top five. Uh, Clearly identify that's. Uh, we need six uh, though. We've got to get six across the line. If we can cross so back to it, if spot. we can cross back to our finish line, so we can uh, have a look. Here we go. So. Cecilia in first position, an easy qualification. She took the lead halfway through uh, through the lap. We've got Logothetti in second. Yep. We've got Kiara Voster in third. We've got Chilak Kochish in fourth, and Ines Blin or Blin in fifth. Who's got the sixth spot? Let's find out. It's going to play out between these three athletes with a, a considerable uh, advantage for the girl in front of her. It's uh, a bit deceiving here, but I think she's got at least 15 meters that might of be a gap for yeah, herself. That might be Summit from Thailand, is it? Let's uh, know. Uh, it's got a six. Is it Laura Tan? Laura Tan from China, possibly. I see a four. Yeah, it's a four. It's two, eight, four. It she is Summit. It is Summit then from... Oh, no, sorry. No, no, no. What am I saying? Wrong, uh, wrong list. It's, it is Summit from Thailand, I think, coming up now. Let's check. Tanapon, Tanapon Summit? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, what number have we got here? Three yes, 384. Summit from so Thailand. So she is through, and the others are going to have to wait mm. for the, uh, the, the times, the six best times to make it through. Let's do the same thing here with the boys. We are moving on to the junior men's uh, field. First uh, heat of the German Newman, so first quarter final. The top three move to the semi final and then the sixth best time. So, how many hits have we got for the junior men? Uh, five, six, six, six uh, hits. And uh, the top three of every hit is uh, moving on to the semi finals and then the six best times. Will be picked. I recognize Ivan Flutos with the uh, blonde ponytail on the left hand side. We have Jakub 
Petrislek from uh, Czechia, Ali Gomez from uh, Mexico. Big shout out to uh, the uh, everyone watching from Mexico. Ivan Frutos, Joan Olim, Joan Olim will be on the NSP. That seam tapping is uh, his forearms on the left hand side. Shimazu Nariakira, that's the guy who is on the uh, uh, right next to Joan Olim on the white and grey board. Uh, Juan Lao from China, Andreas Vulgaris, a uh, strong guy, that's him, Andreas Vulgaris the, with a blue visor hat on the right hand side in the middle, Max Indulak from Thailand, Rodrigo Lopez from Spain, Cedric Falbush, he should be wearing a blue, uh, a blue hat, Cedric, from, uh, from Germany, and Fabrizio Rondinara from Argentina, and the tall Swede, Lucas Boyum, so I should be able to identify most of these guys, I there's a three or four uh, that I, I haven't uh, haven't seen in a race, or not not much. Uh, bit uh, two bit of two uh, Chinese. Bit of love for you on the chat line for your correct pronunciation of our Hungarian uh, paddlers. I've been, I've been working. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks uh, from Tamar. <laughs> Tamar has uh, given you some some love. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tamar. And great to have everybody watching from wherever you are, seeing us around the world. We are. Very excited to be bringing you this top oh, level. Max Indulak, of course, Max Indulak. So that gentleman with that son of a look at that nose on the right. Just before, side we, just before we get onto that, let's have oh a look yeah, here. Yeah. Rosary Davis, uh, Eleni Nicolati, possibly only got through to fifth after uh, falling at the start. So uh, that'll be a relief for her getting through into fifth. And let's just see if we get the results from the second women's heat. There we go. The uh, the uh, athletes have been introduced to the crowd. We're just uh, Matthew and I just going through now, trying to visualise these numbers because that's very hard once they get on this. Uh, look at that routine there from our athlete on the extreme right of the camera. He's uh, he's got some moves. That is uh, Fabriz Fabricio Fabrizio Rondonara from Argentina on the uh, right side there in uh, lane number 11. And then I think right next to him, is it the Swede who's next to him on the end there? Um, 301. The, the Swede is on yeah, the NSP. 301. On the yeah, 301, yeah, yeah, yep, that's right. it. Yep. We've got uh, Shimazu Nariakira on the Kokua board there. The uh, One of the few uh, boards by uh, uh, designed by Kenny Kaneko, uh, a former international sub-race champion. Uh, two of those boards uh, did really well yesterday with uh, Natsumi Baba in the top 10 in the women and uh, um, or, t or 12th, was she 12th? And, uh, and, and this gentleman right here who was on the podium yesterday in the junior long distance in second place, Shimazu Nariakira on the Kokua uh, board. Uh, Ivan the Frutos, some top names here. Ivan Frutos yeah. from Spain, Joan Olim from uh, Portugal. Uh, the blue no. uh, visor hat in the middle, that's, uh, no, what, that's what, Andreas what, Vulgaris. What we haven't told uh, the viewers is that this is pressure time because only the top three, only the top three, Machu, are guaranteed to go through to the next round. So it's the top three and then the next six best times. So when you look at this field... It's hard to believe that uh, some of these guys could actually miss out at this stage of the event. But uh, when you have guys like uh, Frutos, Volgaris, uh, Narakari from uh, Japan, there's... Uh, there's, yeah, there's Ivan Frutos, yep. Juan Olim. I don't know much about uh, Ali Gomez from Mexico. Uh, I know Cedric Falbush is pretty fast. Fabricio Rondinara is definitely fast from Argentina. Lucas Boyum did well last year. In uh, in Poland as well is on the NSP on the extreme right of your screen. 
So this this is almost like a final, and that gentleman with that. Uh, it's the tie paddler, yeah. The tie, no, Max the tie Inderluk. Paddler. Max Inderluk. Good start oh. by Andreas Vulgaris though on the starboard as well as Ivan. Oh, oh, Andreas goes down. Ivan De Frutos in front, in first. Joan Olim in second. Look at the uh, the Swede, Lucas Boehm. He's come across now, and he may even go into the lead early on. Wow, well, that's a good move by Lucas oh. Boehm from Malmo, Sweden. In second place, Ivan De Frutos, the ponytail. Blonde athletes from Santa Pola, Alicante, Spain, is in the lead, and it's a big battle behind him to get that second spot. Lucas Boim from Sweden, though, manages to get oh! it. Oh! Who's uh, Fabrizio Randinara is in third. I think we have the uh, athlete from uh, from the other Spanish athlete, Rodrigo Lopez, in uh, in fourth. So remember, just the top three are guaranteed of a semi-final berth. So there is everything on the line here. There's no time for dilly dallying if you're not uh, at your a game in this heat you are going to be in trouble but uh yes at the front it is uh ivan frutos Ooh, look at that night lucas bohm sitting oh, that's what we want to 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 see a yes. bit more of radicality in the turns ivan the frutos showing off his skills there at the buoy number two lucas boom going a little bit wide we've got uh, a japanese paddler going from Fourth yes. to third right mm -hmm. now. That is uh, Shimazu Nariakira. And some more swimming. Board and Joan Olim is in, uh, is in fourth. So there is going to be a big fight for that uh, third place for sure. Right now it is Evan Frutos in front from Spain with a, a board's length over uh, Lucas Boyum from Sweden. So they spread out a bit now. There's uh, been a little bit of carnage in the middle of the race, but uh, it is at the front making every post a winner. It is our man from Spain, Ivan Frutos. And uh, I think it was last, just just uh, on the, on our screen, Andreas Vulgaris, one of the fastest times going into the finals the other day from Greece, who took a fall early. He uh, he had a great start. Unfortunately, after uh, uh, ten strokes, he fell down. And he's uh, in now in uh, in last in the last position. See, look at the Japanese paddler uh, Na Narakari. He has moved up through the field now and is challenging Frutos. But look at oh, Lucas Boyum still Lucas. in third. Joan Olim on the NSP in fourth. This is going to be a sprint to the finish, folks. Just three paddlers will go straight through. Oh, and and uh, oh. Rodrigo Lopez pushing Fabrizio Rondinara to the uh, to the outside, unable to uh, to correct the course early. So uh, look at Fabrizio Rondinara from Argentina. He's coming from Argentina. Ooh. He's gone that wide. He's, he <laughs> is. Uh, he is a lot. He was pushed out very wide. Okay, let's cross to the finish line because it's going to be very close here in the race for top three. Although it looks like now uh, it's going to oh, be. Oh, it's the Japanese. Well, I think he's second. I think the camera angle there might be a bit tricky. Let's. Uh, no, let, he's got it. Naria Kira from Japan on the Kokua board. The Kenny Kaneko design, reaching. The beach in first place, crossing the line. Ooh, hey, the there Cheeky. you go. Look at that Cheeky. sneaky move. Spaniard. Sneaky Lucas move. Boyum qualified. He's happy with that one. Joao Olim is going to have to wait for the times. Oopsie daisy. Somebody's not happy. There, there's a paddle. The six best times will uh, will be picked after the top three of every uh, hit for the semi-final. So Joao Olim still has a chance. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't look happy. Uh, what a what an exciting finish though! What an exciting sprint for the. Uh, I think <laughs> I, I think Narakari is wondering what was going on. He's going, "What are you sprinting for, man? We're both through." But uh, yeah, it's actually Naria Kira. If you, yes, if you don't mind thank me, you uh, very much. You on yeah, that one. I do not mind <laughs> you correct me one bit. Okay, all right. Let's try and get in a, a visual here of who these athletes are all right, as well. We've got Vaik Gayu. Let's uh, let's spot him. He should be wearing a, a black he's hat. He's right over there in lane that's one. Him on, on the lane Sonoma, one. Lane one. Andreas Constantinu in uh, lane two. We've got Wojtek Seiden Glance. That's the red-haired uh, athlete from the Czechia. We've got Juan Garcia, that's him, with the uh, in lane number four on the starboard. We've got Saran Sivon Krak in lane number five from Thailand. We've got Shengren Wang from China, that's the uh, in lane number six. Lane number seven, uh, 293, is he here? He's not here. Kuga Kato, I don't see Kuga Kato, he's probably somewhere else. We've got Natapat Koman in... Uh, in the middle with the uh, visor hat with the starboard, Natapan Command, that's Plum. Plum. Uh, Ming from Hong Kong, Ming Gnai, Ming Gray, Luke 
278. Do you see his 278 in there? That's him on the NSP yep. sort of uh, light blue hat. Uh, Gerald Cornier from Puerto Rico in uh, that's 2323. Two, three. That's him with the sunglasses there on the right hand side. We've got Maximus here. Yeah, I know him, of course, the NSP, uh, now NSP champ from uh, the Netherlands, the youngest uh, uh, kid at 13 to, co to ever complete the Sub 11 City Tour. 220 wow, kilometers at 13, 13 years, years of age. Wow. Yeah, his uh, his dad is in prison, by the way. He's what? <laughs> his dad's in prison, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, we'll no, he's not. He's not. <laughs> he's ma he's should he be though? Cameron uh, Carney from Canada. Where is Cameron? He's on the right. Carney that's him. You can just the see right the you can see side, the tail yeah. of his. Uh, that's, uh, that's him on the starboard. I think uh, hiding off our screen on the right hand side. So Maximus Sierra from the Netherlands. Uh, Vae Gaoyu, of course, the new long-distance world champion, also, uh, he was second, Vae Gaoyu. Oh, losing oh. his balance, someone else is that's losing uh, his I balance, think that was and the that's Greek. Andreas that Constantinou from, uh, from Greece. Juan Garcia from uh, Spain is having a great start from Alicante, Spain. Vae Gaoyu, second right now. Wojtek Hayden glance on the left-hand side of your screen, that's the red-haired on, uh, on the starboard, but Plume aka Natapat Koman from Thailand and I think Cameron Not Carney position right uh, there in third position I Who think I think that's Cameron Carney Cameron sitting Carney in fourth now Canada. moved across he into is, fourth uh, so in fourth right now oh well we got in fifth white hats NSP we did mention him that's I think that's Ming Nei uh, Luke from uh, Hong Kong and the redhead of course is uh, uh Wojtek Sedenglantz he's sitting in about seventh position at the moment so so uh, let's have a look here. There is Plume. What's happening with Plume? Losing his balance on the left hand side uh, on the starboard. Vae Gaiu now taking the lead in front of Joan Garcia. So it is Caledonia versus Alicante right now at the front with a Sonova and the starboard. Another starboard in third that is Plume from Thailand. Definitely his favorite uh, discipline. Natapat Kowan. Oh, what a good move there on the inside. Who's that paddler that just uh, did the big sweep move there to move into fourth position? I well, think that's Saran uh, Sivon Krak from uh, from Thailand. Uh, yeah, so two Thai. He's pulled a uh, he's pulled a very good move there to go from about seventh up and up to fourth, while everybody else was uh, taking a very wide turn. He he executed a perfect turn to jump three places, and has now put himself in the running for a direct qualification for the semi-finals. It might be a race between the two Thai paddlers though. Matthew mm -hmm. for that second. Uh, oh, there's Georgia. For the third. There's our photographer, Georgia <laughs> Schofield, covered in pig fat in One the water, bobbing up and down, <laughs> bobbing up and down in the water, getting so the very Vaigayu, best angles. Look at, the, look at the change in cadence. As soon as Vaigayu was able to turn around that, uh, that second buoy, that first green buoy, the, the whole cadence changed. He was in the lead and was able to impose his own rhythm on Joan Garcia. Real Spaniard in second, and we've got Plume in third with a good lead, uh, good gap for himself in front of uh, the Hong Kong athlete, uh, Mink Naik Luke. That's uh, two seven Ooh, eight. Satan Glance, big move coming here. In fast on that uh, fourth buoy. Uh, he might be able to uh, grab the fourth place. Uh, he won't be able to get the uh, third though, as uh, Plume has done such a good job as securing this uh, third place. We still have in the lead uh, Mr. Vai Goryu, the new long-distance world champion, just uh, uh, sprinting to the finish as Joan Garcia, who's almost losing his balance there on the starboard from Alicante, uh, who's a great sub-surfer, by the way. Uh, Joan Garcia is not just a, a very good sub-racer. He does sub-surf really well. Vai Goryu, the Goryu show is still on today in Pattaya, Thailand, with Vaik, 17-year-old Vaik, winning... Uh, quite comfortably his, uh, his quarterfinal in front of Joan Garcia from Spain and Natap Natapat Coman, a.k.a. Plume, <laughs> who's being pushed by the beach marshals. Yeah, get out of the way. Get out of the way, <laughs> get Plume. Get out of here. You might be a in local. Third place. You might be a local, but that gives you no beach rights, my friend. Get out of the way. Get <laughs> Move it. So two heats down in the technical junior men's competition. Uh, on the uh, on the chat line, Matthew, uh, somebody says, can you mention the deep ocean boards when you see them? They're Australian made. Mm -hmm. I think I think you have done I've a couple I've of times. I've heard you mention them. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. Still waiting for that budget from deep ocean, by the way. 
Yeah, yeah, no, it's a brand from uh, from New Zealand, and uh, I did mention that they were also involved with another brand in the uh, surf life saving uh, with uh, prone. Is Deep Ocean New Zealand or Australian? It's Australian, isn't it? Uh, I think. I don't know. Y I don't know. I think they're definitely strong in both countries. Okay. I have a feeling they're from New Zealand. I thought it was Australian, but uh, I, you, you're, you know more than me. I'm just, uh, I'm just flapping about in the breeze here. Well, All right. actually, if you guys want to uh, bring some insight on whatever you want, we'll, be, uh, we'll gladly share it with the audience. So who have we got in that uh, next? Well, I know that our New Zealand friend Quinn Pirrett is there. I know that uh, Pablo uh, Cabanel is there. I know but that Sergio, Sergio Cantorell is there. Yes, taking of course. the lead, and he's the defending champion. That's him on the starboard right there. We've got Quinn Pirrett. Indeed, we've got Simon Ackerman, who was also... In the final last year, he was on the podium actually of the technical race last year. Simon Ackerman, he's in second place right now. Quinn wow, look at these from athletes. New Zealand is in third place. Who, are, who else have we got in that top five? There's a Sonova behind, and I believe that's a Chinese uh, uh, board brand. Therefore, most likely a Chinese paddler. What number is that? But our top three is pretty clear, though. Already? Our top three is pretty clear. Yeah. The three favorites: Simon Ackerman, Sergio Ooh. Cantoral, and uh, Quinn Pirrit are really detaching him themselves from the rest of the field pretty early uh, j even before reaching buoy number one yeah uh, that is a uh, pretty a pretty strong trio there out in front of this heat i think that's uh, is that sergio cantoral in the lead from uh, santa pola quinn Spain. period quinn i think period. has gone Another into second nsp simon akerman struggling a little bit there on his uh, flat deck uh, Four to five pro board, and I think it's a Chinese athlete. I tell you what, it's oh, somebody's made a big move on the inside there. So the the field is bunched up a little bit now. They got a great start the front uh, the front two or th uh, three or four paddlers, but now it's bunching up a little bit in the fight for third position. But look at our two leaders here. Not much doubt about these two chaps. That's uh, Sergio Cantarell and of course Quinn Pirrett from New Zealand. They are the front two. The top three go straight through. So. so the defending champion is where he should be at the front of uh, this third uh, junior men's quarterfinal. He comes from uh, the east coast of, uh, of Spain, from uh, an area which is very active with sub racing, where we, you can find three or four big clubs with, with between 100 and 200 uh, members who are all sub racers. Uh, so in third, Simon Ackerman from France. Seems to be clearly in third now. So we have a top three, although uh, there's a bit of a challenge coming here. Ooh, Who's that? Why is he going so wide? It's Simon Ackerman goes wide. He's gone really wide and he's and opened he's the door. he's going to lose his third uh, spot to uh, a Southeast Asian uh, athlete who's giving a big push. Now, what has what went through his mind? Simon Ackerman had it... Uh, had it covered in third place, and it, all he had to do was to stay very uh, close to that uh, buoy. I think he's recovering in third place, but he didn't need that much drama going into uh, the last leg of the course, uh, a straight line to uh, finish to the finish line. And Quinn Pirrit making a, a move just to impress the uh, world champion from 2022, Sergio Cantora. So it is going to be the New Zealander Quinn Pirrit winning hit number three of uh, the junior men's uh, quarterfinals Sergio Cantoral gets second place and Simon Ackerman yeah. after a uh, last little scare little scare there uh, little that, uh, last buoy last green buoy gets uh, the third place and uh, I saw a 9-2 there oh, that was the uh, Romanian was it uh, Denny Stigny who came in there in uh, in fourth position I think it was the Romanian who maybe got through into fourth. That is a name we've seen quite a bit this week. Uh, yeah. So that is very likely. I didn't see his uh, bib number. Well spotted uh, there, Ross. Hit number four. Wow, we, we don't stop with the big names, huh? Ru Ruben Cantoral, Zeno Zabo. Who else have we got in there? Hector Jessel from uh, Cornwall, Great Britain. Damodara Mokhniuk from uh, the Ukraine. He's got the uh, uh, black board on the right hand side that's uh, uh, Hector Jessel with the star ball also on the right let's try and identify as many that's uh, Zeno Zabo in lane number five I think Bole, they actually now, is Bole He in there from China he's uh, had a very good sprint day he should be in lane four but I, I don't think he's there I can't see him 
Who's that in lane th in lane three? That's uh, Daniel Seneglu, isn't it? From uh, from Spain. From He's Spain, got a, I a think. Turkish uh, last name. It comes from Mallorca, uh, Spain. Daniel Seneglu. That's him right there on the in second in so second lane. We may be missing uh, our Chinese athlete Bole He. So that's a big out from this race. But look at the. I think it's the Japanese paddler Miha. Miha Oh, this again. Oh, someone's had a stack. Mia Hiri. Oh, Mia from Hira, yes, on from the uh, SIC Maui board. Yes, he was fourth um, fourth yesterday or third. Uh, third yesterday in the, uh, in the junior um, long distance race. He's on the SIC Maui. We've got Damodara Moknuk on the Rapid Sup board there. I think we have a Chinese, a Boli He. That's Boli He in yeah. second place right there, who's almost falling down. No, he's. Uh, Are you sure? I think that's Cheng Hao Chen, maybe yeah. sitting in second. The, the other, the second Chinese paddler. But we'll just get confirmation of that. We can't, we can't really see their numbers, but I think that might be oh, Cheng that would Hao. Be Boli He in front. That's what you 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 you're implying. No, who's in front? I think it's Chen. Let's see if we can see a number here. Uh, very hard to see, isn't well, it? We've got the Japanese in second for sure on the SIC yep. Maui board. That's hundred percent. That is Kotaro Miyahira in uh, second place. We've got uh, a Chinese paddler in third, Damodara Mokhnyuk from the Ukraine, going wide and uh, not uh, doesn't manage to get uh, a third position, synonymous of a qualification for the semi-final. So still uh, some work to do for Damodara if he wants to get a straight qualification for the semis. In fifth, we've got uh, Daniel Senoglu. Let's try and identify who's in first and who is in third. Two uh, Southeast Asian paddlers. I think, uh, I think it's the two Japanese Kotaro Miyahira is uh, taking the lead now. Yes, uh, the, the paddler alongside him. That's the number we're trying to get a bead on at the moment. It's, uh, what is that there? Two... So Bolehi, Bolehi in the in second place. Yes, so that's uh, uh, she Miyahira Kotaro Miyahira from uh, Japan in first place on the SIC Maui board. On the starboard, it is Bolehi from China. We've got in third uh, another uh, Chinese. I think that is that, uh, that must Cheng be Cheng Hao Chen. Chen there. Yes, and then and in fourth Damodara Moknuk, who's uh, Gonna try and get that uh, radical turn. Yes, he does manage to get that turn. Uh, and he might get a spot in the top three thanks to a much better turn than the Chinese athlete. There is going to be a battle for that uh, third oh, position. Oh, and there's been a big fall. Who's that uh, coming in? That's it the is the uh, Chinese Bolihi going down while uh, uh, the Japanese athlete Miyahira. Mia here and now has the race to himself because that was a inopportune time for our Chinese paddler to go into the water. So Mia Hari now has the race to himself in front. The race for second and third is going to be intense though. Remember, the top three guaranteed to go through. Oh, there's what's happening in the background there. Looks like somebody's is that Bolle He's still trying to get back on his board. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, he totally uh, lost the plot there with uh, Damodara Moknuk now from the Ukraine reaching the beach in second place. A bit of a, a sprint race with the, uh, the other Chinese athlete, that's Cheng Hao, Cheng Cheng Hao, Hao Chen. Chen. Where is Bolihi though? That is the big question we have. We are moving on to a six hit. Six hit in uh, the, uh, actually a fifth no, hit. No, fifth hit, fifth hit. Fifth and, hit. Uh, Matthew, can I introduce to the commentary position we have? Uh, the fans have been out there saying, can we please get someone on there who knows what he's doing? Uh, so we've searched, we searched far and wide, and we haven't been able to find anyone. But So instead, we've got Rob Sanoe, who's here, who was paddling this morning. You spotted him. You liked his board shorts this morning. I think uh, that caught your attention this morning. He's still wearing them now, and he's sitting here right next to us. Look at you. You can't take your eyes off his shorts. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> impressed. Rob, how are you? much for having me here i'm so excited man this day has been electric and uh i can't wait to join you guys uh the 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 energy outside which you just can't pick up uh, on the video is so much higher than it is uh maybe even through the through the camera so man what a great day i'm so excited to be here for this afternoon and commentating with you guys well one of the other reasons we've got you in here rob is that we hope that your eyes are better than uh, Matthew and i because we cannot make out the white numbers on the yellow background so if you can spot 
any of these athletes. We'll uh, have a conversation about contrasting numbers for oh. uh, next year's race. I'd, we, I think this will be the last time we see yellow bibs with white numbers. I'm pretty certain they'll be th- uh, thrown out next year. Hopefully they might even be thrown out by tomorrow. You know, I was just down there watching the juniors, and man, I tell you what, the wind and these waves are really starting to come in stronger than they were this morning. Uh, the start is pushing them all to their left, and the finish is pushing them all to their right. It's really fun to watch these guys manage these bumps, and they're doing incredible, too. Matthew, who's, uh, who's in this field? F- well, hit number five, we've got Augusto Garcia, definitely uh, a pre-race favorite in this one. Uh, we also have Nikolaos Malikakis, I guess that is the... Uh, Gentleman with the infinity board uh, there in uh, lane number, in front of lane number seven. We also have Luis Perotti. I assume this is the, uh, in lane number nine on the NSP on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, what other top? Pabu uh, Alexandru is another one. Ricardo Postiglione, that is the brother of uh, Claudia Postiglione, the uh, new long distance world champion. And a great start by. Augusto Garcia, indeed. Right oh, there, there he goes Someone's down. He's going down, though. Oh, a lot of heavy traffic. Ooh, heavy traffic. And he got a paddleboard to the face. And Luis Perotti on the NSP is taking the lead. Another Spaniard is at the front, and that is Augusto Garcia from Andalusia, Spain. So two Spaniards at the front. Who have we got? Look at that uh, paddle cadence, third. too. He looks like he's doing his 200-meter sprint right now. Well, you sort of need to, don't you? There's Georgia Schofield there. She's putting her life Ari in her own hands Purnama there. Ari Purnama is in third. Ari Purnama from Indonesia, the new sprint world champion, is also in the mix. So don't rule him out for uh, qualification in the semis. He is and currently uh, virtually safe in third position behind yeah. the two Spaniards, this uh, is Luis Perotti and Augusto Garcia. This is where these guys have a nice downwind section. It almost feels like a nice downwind. And then they hit this buoy, and doing that buoy turn, all of a sudden the wind hits you right in the face. Uh, it's pretty exciting at Speaking that moment, of watching that. them trying to finish that turn. Everybody finishes wide because uh, it's really challenging to get w- when that wind oh, hits. There we go. There we go. The third place now is Nikolaus Malikakis on the Is that our Indonesian? Arip is that our Purnama. Indonesian who went in the water? I think it is, Matthew. I think our Indonesian champion. Yes, it is. Ari Purnama has in, gone uh, in the water. Place now fifth place, actually, for the uh, sprint. Junior world champion. Oh, and more athletes going in for carnage, a Carnage, well. carnage all oh, over. No, 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 the one. Oh, How do you get around them? This is just, what is going on out there? At the start there, we saw the athlete who came off, went under the water, stuck his head up, got a paddleboard right in the mush. Uh, which was like, how are you going? Are you enjoying this race very much? Not much at all. Thank you very much. Uh, but uh, he's okay. He's back on the board and he's paddling. They may have to do a concussion test on him after the race, though, just to make sure that he is okay. So who have we got in front now, That Lance? is Luis Perotti, and he, I think he's gone in the new NSP board, the Cheetah, uh, right in front uh, from Spain, followed by Augusto Garcia, also from Spain. There's a bit of a gap behind these two Spaniards, and then it is uh, Nicolas Malikakis on an Infinity Blackfish board, Infinity being a, a Californian brand. Uh, hello to Dave Binney if he's uh, listening, if he's w- watching. The Infinity CEO from uh, Dana Point, California. So the top three are virtually through to the semis and then the six be- best times out of uh, oh. a total of six or seven heats in the junior men's will uh, get their qualification for the semis. You know, I was, <clears throat> I was just down there and when you see these guys coming in right now, it just, it looks not too crazy, but that wind is howling out there when they get around that, that fourth buoy. <laughs> And it's pushing them way far to the right. You're seeing everybody finish farther and trying to trying to catch back up to that finish line over to the left there. So it's pretty cool watching these guys come in and, and managing this wind. That's a lot busier out there than oh, it feels like. Oh, oh behind! Oh, we missed the action. Augusto there. Garcia yeah. still keeps his place. A bit of a stun there by the Spaniards. Augusto in third. It's Greece with uh, Malikakis. So these three are through, but watch out, Augusto, for uh, that was a pretty dangerous stunt there. Really <laughs> <in> the <laughs> I bet that he looks good on the dance floor. No doubt about that. He was, uh, he was moving like he was riding a treadley. His, his uh, airplane came in a little bit rough. Yeah. Rough landing there. Yep. But he managed to keep going, which was uh, very fortunate. I so think safely in the top three. Coming up. This is going so fast. We've got Mattia Livornese. Definitely a faster sub racer from uh, 
Italy, Marlon Daskiran. Marlon Daskiran, that uh, is on the starboard. And uh, Yvonne Puente, uh, of course, I think across in lane, we can just see the back of his board. Can we match you on the left-hand like left side? Lane number 10, maybe. Uh, oh, is he lane 10, is he? Ivan Puente, I'm looking no, for him. No, that's Simoncelli, isn't it? Is that Puente, actually. Uh, wait. That there, I'm looking at lane 11. So we've got Mark Simoncelli. That could that's be Mark Simoncelli. Simoncelli. That's Simoncelli there, and he's From outside. Mallorca. Should be the Chinese. I think we can't see uh, Ivan Puente there. Wait, somebody hiding out in the background. On, on the, the left-hand left side of the oh, screen, I reckon uh, it should one, be yeah, uh, yeah, Ivan Puente there, who would be one of the favorites, you would think, for this race. Uh, gee, it's a, this is a stacked heat. Ma Mark Simoncelli is definitely uh, uh, a young man with uh, a lot of experience, so he could be doing well as well. His dad is the national coach for uh, for Team Spain, actually, in the uh, in down in Ma Mallorca. Uh, Mar Balear is the name of the club. They organize every year a, a big race called the Port Adriano Sub Race. That That's uh, where uh, Aaron Sanchez and uh, Laura Kelglas and Lots of big names like that. Duna Gordillo, of course, where they are from. So Jan Sestak there. I think that next to him is uh, the, the German, I think, uh, Daskaran, isn't it? Oh, that's Marlon Daskaran. Yeah, that's Marlon there is Daskaran, there, lane the blue five. Hat. Absolutely. Uh, Mattia Livonese, where is he? So let's, we, we haven't seen Puente yet. We think he's on the left-hand side of the screen. We'll get a bit of a view of him in just a moment yeah. because we are off and racing. Nice start. Well, I expect start. Marlon Daskiran to do to do well for sure. But you're right. Ivan Puente was hiding on the left hand side, and he's got the best start, as well as an other NSP rider who might even take that uh, leading position, reaching buoy in number one. Let's try and identify the uh, the big number there of uh, the guy in front with a black hat. Maybe Mattia Livornese. Wow, he's gone out from, fast. From uh, Italy, that could be him. In uh, in front, definitely Ivan Puente in second or equal second with uh, Mark Simoncelli. Uh, who else have we got in the back? Oh, oh watch out. wrong way, wrong way. Oh, he's trying to make sure that our photographer, nice George, George Schofield, it. gets his best angle, and he gave her lots of different angles to work with, but he got around safely. So, is it the uh, Italian, Livanese, who's in front? Let's. Uh, Oh, well, it's, it's Mattia Livonese did really well in the sprint. Gee, it's hard to make those numbers out, isn't it? It's Just two, hard. and it's a... Th three really nice turns right there. Nice job, guys. Oh, Jan Sestak then. 264, poss possibly. Could be... 264. Two no, he's tall. He's quite a tall paddler, I think. Uh, yeah. Let's see. That might be him coming so up now, I think. Livonese. Oh. Oops, someone else has had a stack. Okay, we're trying to get a bead on our leader. Where Big shout out to all the parents out there right now. It's uh, if you know if you were at a kid's soccer match, all those parents you can't hear them right now, but they're all screaming and yelling on the on the finish line uh, for all these young athletes coming and crushing it today. They uh, it's it's very inspiring to see this younger generation of kids uh, coming out and, and crushing it. I'm so glad I'm in the 40 plus division because I wouldn't want to be in this one. And I've got a visual confirmation. We've got an Italian in the lead, and his name is Mattia Livornese. 2A0 is his bid number. He's on NSP. Another NSP behind him. That is Ivan Puente from Spain. Good turns there by uh, Livornese, as well as uh, Ivan Puente in uh, third. Mark Simoncelli from Mallorca, Spain. So these uh, three athletes... And then uh, is that, da safe. Is that Daskarin sitting in fourth position then, Matthew, the that's German? That's right, that's right. That is uh, Marlon Daskarin. And I think right next to him, it may well be Jan Sestak from the Czech Republic sitting in fifth position, I think. Let's... Uh, uh, it might be Nikita Tsanakis, actually. Oh. Uh, that's uh, on the NSP. Let's... Uh, that's, uh, yeah, it's, that's Ivan Ponte, I think. Yeah, so, at the fr uh, so that's in the Mattia, lead, Mattia Livorn is there right now. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he was. So Levanese yeah. in front from uh, from Germany, uh, from Italy. Sorry, what am I talking about? Uh, for sorry, all the Italians watching, screaming at the uh, live stream right now. Oh, stay on your feet, young man. There he is. Uh, nice race, very tidy performance oh, there. No, no. He knows where the camera is, huh? And of course he does. He's Mattia Italian. Livorn He's Italian. What first. do you expect? Ivan Puente second, another Spaniard in third, that's Mark Simoncelli. 
Marlon Daskiran might make it based on time. And that is the uh, Greek 273. Is it? 273, yes, Zanakis. Zanakis from, uh, from Greece. From Greece. Greece is the word. Greece is fifth. So uh, it is the six best times. The six best times, as well as the top three, will go through. So there's everything to go for. Even if you don't make top three, you can still sneak in with a good time. So there we have some confirmation from our earlier rounds. Top three there, Narakari, Frutos and Boehm all went through from that first heat. Lucas Boehm sneaking through in third. Then uh, in five minutes, we will we'll so have Bake our... So, Garui, uh, Hyon Garcia and uh, Plume managing to get through in third position from uh, Thailand. And uh, he will give this a bit of a shake. A couple of big names there missing out on uh, going through to the semifinals. Quinn Pirrett uh, with that big surge at the finish, snatching the win ahead of uh, Sergio Cantarell. Simon Ackerman, even though he went wide, Matthew, you called that in the call. He went very, very wide and almost let the Romanian through, but uh, he managed to regroup and get into third position to give him a berth straight into the final. And then we had uh, the Japanese paddler, Miyahira. Uh, the uh, the Ukrainian Monuk and Chen, the Chinese paddler, all through from that junior heat as well. I guess one of the big upset is that we're losing uh, the uh, the Greek paddler uh, Vulgaris Andreas Vulgaris, who did uh, fall uh, despite uh, having the best start yeah. in, in in his heat. So now he will be missing it. I'm just looking at these panel. results that we're seeing. I can't see any small cues up there for the uh, fastest time. So they may not have been allocated yet. Ah. They may not have been allocated yet because they're still working out the, uh, the times because it's the six best times after the top three who go through. So, All right, moving on to the Open Women first hit with some top names and a new... Uh, world champion in long distance, that's Esperanza Barrera. She is in the middle of your screen on the starboard on the right-hand side, right next to, uh, I think it is Recta Selecta on the SIC Maui, right next to her, on the, uh, on, right in the middle. We have uh, Angelos, uh, Nicole Angelos from uh, Switzerland, Yona Arrive on the NSP. In uh, lane number two, we've got Meng Lian Li from China. Katerina Lansanaki from Greece. We have uh, Caroline Kunzel. So the question no, is... No, she's not there. Now, I, I saw her post on social media okay. uh, yesterday saying that um, she just felt mentally she wasn't in the right place at the moment and that she was heading back home because she just wasn't, being able, to, wasn't able to... She felt like she couldn't give her very, very best. And if she can't give her best, she said that she would rather not be out there paddling. So uh, that's, uh, sh she's not out there. She's gone home. Yeah, pretty disappointing based on the fact that she uh, was second in the technical race uh, last year between Melanie Lafenetre and Duna Gordillo in Gdynia, Poland. And she had a good race on the first day at the sprint too, but then she didn't turn up for the, the quarterfinals. And um, yeah, and then that was the reason, posting online that um, she was heading home. Yeah, so a short-lived uh, experience here in Thailand for Caroline Kunzel, one of the favorites uh, before the, uh, this competition. Uh, some big names, though, as I said earlier, with Yona Rive, with uh, Recta Selecta, with Esperanza Barreras, and a, a new name, um, uh, is she here? Katniss Paris from uh, the USA. She, uh, you might know her. Robbie uh, is a super fast. She's is she there? Can you see her? Robbie, is she out there? Amazing paddler. I'm not entirely sure she's she's there actually from uh, representing the USA. Uh, she's she's blonde, right? She she's would have been lane twelve. Tall blonde uh, athlete. I don't think. Unless she's on the right-hand side, I don't think she's there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight paddlers, we've got 12 names and eight uh, sub-racers. Uh, the top three are, will qualify for the, uh, for the semi-final and the six best times overall uh, will uh, This will is where picked. it gets serious, the women's open coming into play. 
This is for all the marbles right here. Top three and uh, six best is, is tight. It's tighter than it was in most of these other races, so they got to work hard. And a good start by Yona Rive. She's the first oh. athlete to hit the water as well as Esperanza Barrera. Someone is having a dodgy start there on the NSP. Look at she SP. was right in the middle. Uh, but Esperanza Barrera, Selecta Selecta in a fourth. Interesting Yona outside Rive. lane over here on the left. Yeah, it's Yona Rive from Brittany, oh, and France. So there's been another stack there, another starboard gone over. I think that's the Korean, though, moving into second place. I think that's Su Jong Lim from Korea. Maybe up there currently, I think she'll end up third as we head down towards the first boy, but no doubt about the leader, that is Espy Barreras in front. Nice turn by Espy. Yep. And, uh, and third is where you want to be because the top three gets their qualifications to uh, the semifinals. Yona Rive in second place. She's been very, very strong, Yona Rive. This, uh, this week, actually, for the past few months, she's really upped her game. And, uh, and she's definitely one of the uh, top international uh, athletes now, Yona Rive, from, uh, from Brittany, France. Espe, however, is doing what she likes to do, take the lead early and uh, impose a rhythm on the others. Yona Ooh, Rive! Sneaky Ooh, sneaky taking the inside line. That, uh, that first, lead, first position. I think we've got a change in third position there. Who's that that's moved into uh, to third? The that's South Recta Selecta yeah. on the SIC Maui board. Something happened to the South Cor to the Korean. She's dropped back through the field there. So Selecta now moves up into third. On the son of a... Oh! Yeah, getting bottled up. Yeah, look at that She's congestion really struggling there. Huh, with her balance, this, uh, this athlete. Uh, is that uh, Lansanaki? From uh, from Greece, we also saw so uh, we also saw a glimpse of uh, Nicolangelo's on the son of a board from uh, Switzerland, but at the front, you know, Iona had Iona had that tight turn. It looked like she was going on the inside of Espe, but they have not changed positions. Yeah, no, it was a it was a big move. But Espe doesn't like what we learned yesterday in the uh, in the long distance race. She doesn't like anyone in front of her. She's very happy just to be the front runner and to uh, to let everybody else. Uh, feel her backwash because she just sits out there in front and anybody who tries to get past well best of luck let's see what uh, sort of and again we're going to see a sneaky move on the inside are we no not this time sp holding on to the lead these two need not get in each other's way here because they are both safely through the big race the big question will be gentlemen uh, and i feel i can call you both gentlemen because you both seem very well mannered uh it's who's going to get third it is uh, selector she's miles in so mm. hungary in third place but that pretty poor buoy turn by esperanza Barreras makes uh, reminds me that uh, just a few days ago part the smart the starboard team manager was uh, was telling uh sp that perhaps she could work on her buoy turns a little bit because she does lose uh, uh a few she has lost a few a few technical races just because of those uh those buoy turns obviously she's got the, the skills to be uh, to be at the front. Uh, she's a great sprinter. She's a great surfer. She's a great long distance racer. A uh, bit more technicality on the uh, on the buoy turns would definitely help Espe uh, consolidate her uh, her game in uh, in technical racing. Here both of them comfortably coming in at first and second. So Spain first and France. Second with Yona Rive, Recta Sleta uh, still has that third position on the SIC Maui board. That's her right there. A former silver medalist in, uh, in the juniors two years ago in Lake Balaton, Hungary, in her home, uh, home country. And she hasn't stopped since. She is so now an open the, uh, woman paddler. I think that's the Korean there. Lim, is it now coming in? Uh, no, no, it's 222, uh, two, two, is it? 222, two, two, was that the? Yeah, it's Lim, uh, Jong Lim who's coming in fourth position. Is that time going to be enough, though? She needs to make sure that her time is fast, but that's a good race for her. She was, she was third for a little bit, but uh, then managed to uh, slip back to fourth, but her finish has been pretty strong. So we'll have to wait and see whether that time will challenge for the six best times. Now, this is a tough-looking heat as well, gentlemen. There's some big names paddling here including Duna Gordillo of course from Spain she's in good form we know she's in good form this week uh, Daniela Castro from Brazil is there uh, mm -hmm. Eva Dundova who's been super fast again let's in see the how many are there Matthew one two three four five six seven eight so we're missing four paddlers 
Or Ivan Dundova. Dundova. Dundova, she told me to, uh, to, to, oh, uh, to pronounce oh, okay. her name correctly. Dundola. Not Dundova, but Dundova. Sorry, From uh, the Czech Republic. Or Czechia. Or Czechia in, Chechia. The, or Chechia in the third lane. That's the blonde uh, athlete lifting her board right now. Right next to her is the Italian Maria Meta, I think, in... Uh, f that's what number has she got? Four eight five, uh, 185, sorry. Yeah, who else can we spot there? What other numbers? Name, Br Brianna Orams uh, from New Zealand. Kami uh, uh, Huron is there, I think, uh, Matthew. Uh, Maria Meta is in there. In the is in the mix. Marta Apanasovic, is she there? That must be her on the with the NSP board uh, and NSP hat over there. Is uh, Godilla there? Where is she? Two oh one. There's Kami Huron on the son of yeah, the board on the right hand side. Yep, with the uh, there's the ponytail. one athlete outside of the screen on the right hand side. That might be Godilla. Let's we can't see we can't see her, but. Uh, that may well be Duna Gordillo. If she's not there, that's a big out for this race. No, it's no, not it's her. No, it's not. Where so is she's Duna out. Gordillo? I think she's out of the race. Wow. That well, is a unless that's her right there with a the hat. Obviously, uh, that could be. That could be her. Oh, uh, hiding herself though under an NSP hat. I'm not sure. I don't. Do we're gonna have to get that uh, that bid number. Eva Dundova, however is in second we've got a son of a board in equal second great start you can see them battling those waves right there they're they're playing a role right now is that the uh, is that the indonesian maybe sitting in in second place al zuba let's uh, see if we can no no i think it's oh it's very hard oh dundova dundova's going in the water and oh gets a gets a paddle board in the ribs everything's getting bottled up Look at that. Uh, very kind. Oh, and now somebody else goes over. What is happening? So at the front, we are trying to work out. Uh, uh, that's not Duna. That's not Duna Gordi. No. I think that's Mata Apana Apanasovic. Uh, I saw this, uh, this girl, oh, this woman uh, uh, compete in, uh, in Sweden in August at the... Uh, Strand paddle race. That's not Duna Gordillo. No, no way. Anyway, so where is oh, Duna? Oh, Buma! There we go. How's the water? Very nice, thank you. Can I get back up on my board? Camille Huron now taking the third place. There we from go, Make, making it smooth that, around. That was uh, Maria Meta who went in the water there from Italy. So that's a bit of a surprise, Matthew. She's big a bottle up again twice in this race. So Maria Meta is going down, going from three third to fourth. Camille Huron now in. Uh, third place and advancing i'm pretty sure that's marta apanasovic from poland what's and, uh, and number? i think Can behind her it's the Ita i think it is the indonesian paddler i think it's el zuba yeah, sitting two, two, in three. second i think yeah. it is the well Indo spotted. yeah the indonesian sitting in second position and our leader is uh it is uh apanasovic from poland i think matthew let's, yeah, yeah let's let's call marta. her in front uh, so Poland in front, Indonesia second. Did w w what's happening with Duna though? I, she, I don't uh, think she started. Duna, I, I saw her a few minutes ago. I mean, she didn't seem to be like ill or anything. So I'm uh, wondering what's happening with Duna Gordillo, who was announced on the start list. Uh, it is Marta Apanasovic. Now the only doubt I have about Marta is the fact that she's uh, usually on a Kona board, which is a Swedish brand. And now she's uh, showing up on an NSP. Obviously, uh, Andre Crater is doing a good job with renting out, I think, more than uh, 150 sub race boards this week mm. to uh, athletes coming from all around the world. So our third boat, I think, our third board at the moment, I think that's the French paddler, isn't yep, it, Camille. Uh, Matthew? Cami, yep. And then I think in fourth, is that uh, Dundover in fourth? No. It's uh, who's now Dundova is, the, is in the yeah, sixth no, right or oh, seventh who's even right the, now. Uh, one eight five. That is uh, Maria Meta sitting in fourth position after having a swim, so she's got back up and worked her way back to fourth. So Maria Meta is the one athlete who's going to be sorry from uh, from this race because she went from uh, third to fourth. Camille Huron took advantage of a, a mistake by the Italian paddler, but Marta Apanasovic, yes, I do recognize her face. Marta from Poland crosses the line in first. In second, it is the Indonesian Aisia Alzuba in third. Camille Huron, who's advancing 
to the semifinals. Are we already moving no to the next way. heat? This is crazy. So some pretty fierce racing. You've been out on the water, Rob. Does it look uh, does it look windier now than it was this morning, or has the wind died down? I think it's about the same. The wind right now is coming out of the northeast at 14 miles an hour. It's kind of a right to left for them. Uh, it's fast, and, and the waves are the waves are definitely bigger than they are right now. Not only that, but it is blazing hot out there. It's so hot. You cannot see that it is 90 plus degrees, and when you're standing on that sand for 15 minutes before your race, you're hot coming into this race. And uh, hit number three is on for the women. Watch out for Anna Cherky, who's not having the best of the starts right there in the middle. She's uh, going Watch to get Taren, into second position. Taryn King down here on the right-hand side of the screen from South Africa. She's in uh, very good form this week. And on the uh, son of her, and I think Alba Alonso is taking oh, the lead. Oh, there's a stack. There's so, so it is Alba Alonso in first place right now. Taryn King in second. So Spain, South Africa, and Switzerland in the top three. Who else have we got in four? That's Maddie LeBlanc from Canada in uh, fourth place right now. She's going to try and get into the top three. It's going to be tough with the quality of the athletes she's got in front of them. But what, we, of her. But what we have seen, though, Matcha, there's a lot of mistakes being made. A lot of people going for swims when they don't want to go for swims. I think, I think these women are being smart about it, too. You saw everybody took that first buoy wide. <clears throat> and most of the falls that we've seen this morning, especially uh, with some of our other divisions, we saw a lot of people bounce into that first buoy and just get smashed. It's fun to watch, though. You see the first one or two riders run into it, and then the fourth and the fifth. It just, yeah. it, it, the tether catches, it comes back, and it smashes them a little bit. Alba Alonso Frey from Puerto Ventura. Just a year and a half of international competition for the Spanish champion. Going wide a little bit there, being pushed by the wind. Anna Cherki might take advantage of that as well as Maddy LeBlanc with a slightly... The door's open. More narrow turn than uh, Taryn King in third place. But Taryn King, who's uh, picked up a bronze medal uh, in, the, uh, in the sprint uh, already this week, is maintaining a third position. So the front three is uh, starting to move away now, put a bit of distance between themselves and uh, Maddie LeBlanc, the Canadian sitting in fourth position. Remember, it's the top three that go straight through, and then the next, uh, all the rest have to rely on best times to get in. But uh, at the moment, comfortably sitting out in front, we have three athletes who uh, probably have already got one foot into the semi final. And I first discovered Alba Alonso Frey in December last year when on her second international event she won, she actually won ahead of some top names like Melanie Fenet, uh, the an APP World Tour event. That was uh, quite an amazing feat from a, uh, a woman who was coming out of nowhere, dare I say, uh, with only a few months of uh, training for her. Introduced to the sport by Iba Ibaya, uh, Ruano Moreno, the uh, the Spanish sub surf uh, champion, and here she is with now ga gaining quite a bit of experience. Oh, is there a challenge coming in for third place? Is Taryn King all of a sudden under a bit of pressure here from Maddie Blood LeBlanc? So oh, what's she happening missed here? The buoy. She oh, missed that she's last missed buoy. the buoy. Oh no, she's what? gonna have to go around. This is gonna change the whole game. Alba mm. Alonso Frey has what just made heck? a huge mistake. Anna Cherky. Uh, oh. Someone else went on Someone the left-hand side, the wrong and that's side uh, the Maddie LeBlanc. I think these two are going to be... Uh, yeah, Alba, you have to go around oh, Maddie, Maddie LeBlanc. LeBlanc knows Maddie that LeBlanc's she's uh, going to be out. disqualified. She's oh, worked it out. what a bummer. Yeah, Maddie LeBlanc went uh, on the right-hand side. She did follow Alba Alonso Frey. That yeah. is a big mistake. But oh, the, the my Canadian goodness. Alba did spot that. She went back. I think Maddie is going to be uh, disqualified. I think Maddie LeBlanc. Uh, if that's a DQ right now, then she still might hold on to third. I think Alba has got it still. Has Let's she though? See. Because she was, uh, she looked totally oh, confused. We, we want to see, see what's happening there on the finish a, line, guys. There's a big enough gap that uh, I think she was able to go around that buoy, come back, and still maybe pick up is fourth she, overall, but with the DQ there? third. That's her. that's her, isn't it? Yeah. Just behind the, uh, the charts. 
Well, Did we you will. Get it? We wow, will. Wow, wow, wow. A bit of drama. We, we will have to watch for the official results when they come through. But we, the three of us all saw Maddie LeBlanc go on the wrong side, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, I, I hate to call it because I'm a g- good friend with Maddie. But <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's what the officials are for, right? Luckily, we just get to see what we see and they get to call it. But that was the first big mistake that we've seen uh, we in the seen open that division. All day. Yeah. No, you didn't even make that mistake. I no, didn't even make that mistake, right. which is very surprising. Yeah. So. Well, All right. that is Hit drama. Number four. We, who, what are the big names? Sonia Caimari, definitely one of the top names. Susak Molinero, also from Spain, on the son of a board. 206, that's her bib number right in the middle of your screen. We've got uh, Laura Kedglas on the NSP, on the Cheetah board, the new NSP board, on uh, lane uh, 10 or 11, right on your right-hand side. These are the three names that we should find at the, uh, at the, uh, at the front, and all three are from Spain. Oh, what's happened there? Somebody having a walking start. Oh, Susak Molinero, what a, a uh, sketchy a, a comfortable start. way to enter into the water. That is very relaxed entry into the water. <laughs> oh, dear. And Sonia Kaimari, I think that's her, right in uh, in front. Two or, uh, 220, 205, 205. Sonia Kaimari from Spain in the lead. We do have those 206, uh, three. I think it's two. Uh, yeah, 205 is Camreri, 206 Six is, is Molinero. Molinero and Laura Clas. So we do have indeed our top three uh, Spaniards at the uh, at the front. Uh, who else have we got in force to challenge those uh, three Spanish athletes? In fourth on the Sonova. So, so Molinari is second. You can see her there with the blonde. Yeah, everybody looking smooth. Oh, They're following these waves bumps. just a we little bit. Yeah. This is going to get exciting. I think uh, in some of these heats, we might see some uh, bump finishes uh, uh, that we get to maybe watch some exciting finals coming in. And this this second buoy is just you know equals a little carnage when they have to make this big. Ah! When they have to make this big right turn right here. And everybody is just taking this really wide. I don't know why everybody's taking this so wide, but they want to go straight up wind at first. Maybe they know something that we don't well, know. Well, I, I, I was saying before uh, to Matthew, um, Tommy Boudet was telling me that apparently because the wind is quite strong, the buoys, or you guys say buoys, I say a buoy, are getting pushed around quite a lot, and the ropes apparently are quite long. So maybe the athletes are just trying to stay clear of the ropes to make sure they don't get Smart. tripped. Smart. Yeah, well, it's, yes, clever. Not only are they athletes, they're, they're smart, smart athletes. It's, yeah, smart athletes. How fortunate are we to have uh, smart athletes uh, here? Taking the lead change in the rankings at the front. We've got Susak Molinero now on the Sonova. In front, the Catalan who lives in, uh, not in Spain, but in Italy with Paolo Marconi, our companion. We've got in second, Sonia Caimari. I, uh, I, I want to have a better... Uh, visual of uh, the the athlete in third i i assume it is laura kedglas but uh, i am not 100 percent obviously uh, laura kedglas is sponsored by nsp uh, and and that's uh, definitely an nsp board at the back but i just want to be uh, i just want to be sure uh, i think that's laura I think that's Laura. Yeah. Uh, Laura 204. So 204, I think, is Laura. 204, is that's yep. the one. 204 is Laura Kedglas. So we do have, indeed, the three Spaniards. So full uh, Spanish uh, hat trick there in a quarterfinal number let's four. Just, uh, let's just make sure they all go around on the right side of the boy here, though, because this is where the last race... This is where the last race uh, had some issues. Are we, are, are we going to have some surf? Look at those bumps. Yeah, looks like it, doesn't this it? This is proper downwind, mat- at least downwind material, if not surf surf material. Or, or is that good uh, r- just a visual impression? No, from I think the you're right. Angle? Uh, look at uh, Suzak in some good form here. She was happy to have made the top 10 yesterday in the distance race, but I reckon she'll be eyeing off a podium here in the technical race. Well done, Suzak Molinero. She crosses the line first. She doesn't even look tired. No, she's having a good old time. She's really enjoying herself here. Sonia Kaimari, she was on a, on a junior podium in 2021. And there is uh, and Laura. And Laura Glass, the NSP international team rider. Very experienced. She's a coach as well as being as an athlete. 
And uh, moving on to heat number five with uh, G1 Choi from Korea, Aida Nepola from Spain, Isaskun Martin from Spain, Natsumi Baba, who was uh, who did well yesterday in the long distance, Sabine Fischer from Switzerland, Juliette Duhame from Argentina, uh, I'd like to say uh, to add slash USA, Atanasia Karen Drew from Greece, Maddie McKesey from New Zealand, Lee Kuan Lee from Hong Kong, and from China, two athletes, Fang Fang Lee and Chi Zhang. Happy to, happy to let you know, uh, 11 on the start list, 11 on the start line. So oh, wow. we have Ooh. a full field here for the, uh, the fifth heat. Just three of these 11 will go automatically through to the next round. And watch it, out for the, the Argentinian, of course. You've got to watch her. She's very exactly. fast. Exactly. Watch out for the speed freak, the infinity speed freak in the middle with the uh, uh, black, white, and gray. Uh, Blackfish, bought by Infinity, is from Argentina. She uh, spends a lot of time, she, she grew up in the US, and she uh, travels a lot for her sports. She's really upped her game in the past two years, and she is now one of the top, top uh, international athletes on the uh, international stage. That's uh, Juliette Duhame in the middle. Good start by Juliette oh. Duhame. Somebody forgot to get on the board. And Natsumi Baba on the uh, Kokua board. That oh. Japanese brand is having a pretty good start too. That's her in uh, on your screen, in the middle of your screen. Not soon we get that side. great start right there. Out sprinting Juliet right now. We'll see uh, Juliet has that inside uh, lane going into this first buoy. Definitely an inside advantage now for Juliet Duhem who's taking the first position. That's Sumi Baba on the Kokua board. From Japan, in second, we've got Itzaskun Martin. In third, we've got the Deep Ocean Board, I guess, from the New Zealander, Maddie, Maddie McCassie, McCassie. Yeah, yeah. in fourth right now. But only three of these four girls can make it to the next round. That is the semi-final. Juliette Duhem in first. As you would expect, and looking pretty strong, but breathing down her neck is the, uh, the Japanese paddler, Natsumi Baba, right on her tail. And then a good race for third at the moment because uh, it's a pretty important position. Top three goes straight through. 203 is, uh, Julia, is Martin. Julia, a nice, nice yep. tight turn there. Ooh, Not what's Maddie McKessie? What's wide? happening here? Going She's ooh. Martin also going wide. So uh, McKessie might uh, sneak make through. the most of that. Is she, although she's going wide as well. So everybody's going wide. They're leaving the, the door open here. Three, four, and five. It's a tight race right there. It really is. Who's the, uh, Rob, who's the fifth athlete there? Can you see? So anyway, she's dropping off a little bit now. So it's uh, two athletes battling for that third position at the moment. One, oh, she, nope, she's okay. So one of them is Maddie McCassie. The other one is uh, uh, Isaac Martin, isn't it? Uh, sitting in third position. You, you can tell Julia Duham has been working on her footsteps with a uh, Candice Appleby. Very comfortable on her on her board. Juliet Duham now reaching buoy number four. The Infinity Speed Freak is going to have it easy after doing what it takes to uh, who, who is take coming the, through uh, the course here? Do we have a random paddler coming through the who, course? Who, who, we do. I was going to say who's okay. in front. What is somebody wanted to get in, in on the Probably action? Someone finishing the from uh, the previous, previous race. race is it? That's uh, added a bit of confusion. Natsumi Baba in second is Ascun Martin from Spain. In third, Maddie Mackesy is going to try and make her move now. That's the only chance she has if she wants to make it to the semi-final. No doubt about our winner, though. Gee, she's looking good. She, w she will challenge for a medal, you would think, wouldn't she? She would have to be one of the favourites to finish on the podium. Looking very, very strong. Our race leader, Juliette Duhame. She's, uh, she's had a good week so far. Had a good uh, couple of days out in the sprint competition. Second in the sprints, right? Yep. And uh, now, you're right, Matthew. Look at that swell there. Very nice. To uh, to cruise. I was going to say to cruise to the finish line, but from what you were saying, Rob, it's quite a challenging last run. With the uh, with the breeze, makes it a bit difficult. Makes it a bit tricky. Definitely tricky. You can see those waves coming in, and and not only that, but it's a really steep drop right uh, right at that finish there when you, when you see somebody jump off their board just a little too soon they're instantly in waist deep water as opposed to uh, ankle deep 
Natsumi Baba crossing the line Woo! in second from Japan. An up and coming strong surpriser from Japan, from uh, the south of Japan. Wow. Race. Look at these names. Woo! USA, oh USA there. all the way. <laughs> that, and look at and that. And Melanie Lafayette's in there. This is a stacked heat. How does this happen? How does this Seychelles, happen? Seychelles, Holly, Fiona, Kim Barnes, Melanie, Rika. Woo! Yeah, Jeez. we've got the defending champion, the French, uh, Melanie Lafayette. She won in front of Caroline Kutzer last year and Duna Gordillo. In a pretty dramatic... Uh, Sprint finish actually between the, the three women. So we're missing two athletes. Let's see. Definitely, I can see Seychelles there. I can see uh, the Chinese athlete Huang. Uh, 191 is uh, Winona Wells from New Zealand. Next to her, is that Holly Pai? That's Holly Pai then with a visor hat. And then next Starboard to her hat. is uh, Fiona. Fiona Wild in the middle. Lane next to six. Fiona is, is that Kimberly? Kim yes. Kim Barnes. Kim Barnes. On the flying fish board. I think we're missing one of the Chinese paddlers. I can't see yeah, Yi there. Yeah, Melanie Lafinette's there, isn't she? That's her hat crouching over. Um, That's her on the, with the 45 Pro board. We've got Arika Okwaki, who finished fourth yesterday. And yeah. uh, and she's been uh, uh, present on many ICF podiums in the past three years, Arika Okwaki. So she uh, should do well. We've got Jochi Lee in on the NSP. Uh, just next to the SIC Maui paddler from Japan. So we are missing, oh, we're only missing one athlete. We're missing the Chinese athlete. Uh, Yi is not there. So everybody else is there. And what a race this is going to be. I'll tell you who will be very this determined to do well is uh, Fiona Wild in the middle. She. Um, well, this could be a, a final almost right there. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's happening in the background Fiona, there? Somebody's uh, realised that somebody's realised the sand is hot. Hey, look at that. That is the uh, the, the hot sand shuffle it, it going is on high. in the, the background. The starters gave him a little bit of a delay here. So yeah, I was mentioning uh, Fiona Wild uh, had some uh, blood sugar issues yesterday in her long distance race. She looked absolutely exhausted when she got to the finish. Um, but uh, we know that she's become very good at managing her diabetes, and uh, every time she goes out there. She's ready to race, and in the middle of the field here, she'll be wanting to get a very good start, but this is a crackerjack field. Uh, Rob, you've, you've seen a lot of these American ladies. Who, who would you be backing in in a technical race of these uh, the three big American names there? I don't know. You know, uh, Seychelles and Fiona uh, all did really great in ICF, and Kim Barnes all in the ICF Sarasota race just last month uh, in Florida. So I would put I would put all three of those. Holly Pie is not somebody to mess with either. Um, I think it's gonna. I think this is gonna be probably one of the better races we're gonna see right here. Yeah, Melanie Fenet really not in her top uh, top form right now, uh, but she was just a month ago. Uh, she admitted that she was uh, a little bit tired this week, but this is definitely if she wants a, a medal this week or a gold medal this week. It, this is definitely the the one that she uh, she's going for. So we'll s this is this race is actually going to be a great indicator of. Uh, I was talking with Kim Barnes earlier, and she was uh, mentioning that this isn't her favorite discipline of the three. Uh, yet at the same time, she's excited to be here and, and ready to get out there and just have some fun with it. So let's uh, let's see what that really means when the when the sounding horn starts. They're now a couple of minutes late, so I don't know what the delay is, but they need to get this race underway. It's a long time to be leaving people standing on the hot sand go. in the sun. A great start uh, by Seychelles. Fiona Wild, great Fiona start Fiona there. Kim Look got, at Fiona. Kim got bottled up. Kim got bottled up right there. Fiona got a great start. Great start to Rico Fiona Wild. Holly's down. right there. We can't see A lot Seychelles of carnage at the back there. There's three athletes who have struggled to get off the start, so that has suddenly thinned this field out. Yeah. We don't see Seychelles on the left hand side. Over on the she's left. Got you can see the trail. Pretty good start, there. actually, probably ahead of Fiona Wild right now. So two no, Americans sure. in front. Melina Fenetre in third next to Holly there's, Pie. There's Seychelles coming in right there. And Fiona is coming going in to high. have the uh, inside she advantage eat. there, reaching the buoy in first place. Melina Fenet in third. Holly Pie in fourth. Kim Barnes actually in an equal fourth with uh, the English athlete. Woo! It's tight. Oh, what a start. Uh, Fiona Wild, and we saw there, good call, Rob. Uh, Seychelles Webster just flying down the outside. We didn't see her on the camera, but she took her own line. And yeah, then, it was uh, a nice line, right? Yep. And then came across there, and uh, they almost had a bit of a she's sandwich. She's trying to get the inside right here on Fiona, but it doesn't look like she's going to have it by the time she gets there. Nope. No. 
So very experienced paddler, Fiona Wild. You watch the way she takes these turns. She doesn't take up any more. Ooh, and oh, sneaking on the inside there. there. Okay, definitely got bottled up. Seychelles has absolutely made a dog's breakfast of that uh, of that <laughs> turn, and that has let the French paddler Lafinette through. So Webster now has to try and pin the ears back and get back up in touch with the the French paddler. But of course, top three go through. Fiona Wild at the moment is being left to her own devices at front, and she would like that very much. And Holly Pie is in fourth, and Kim Boss is in fifth. It is not over yet. The top three make it through to the semifinals. The uh, six of the uh, uh, the quarterfinal partners will, uh, will have to wait. This till is the this is times. this is such a stacked heat, gentlemen, that it would not surprise me if most of the six fastest qualifiers are, are all one. in this heat. Hundred percent. Because it's such a quality field. That's got to be such a stressful position to be in when you finish fourth and you're wondering if you were uh, one of the top six uh, best times. So it's been a pretty slick race so far with our leader, Fiona Wild. Look at that. Just a uh, bit of a move there for yeah. Melanie trying to. Uh, she's just clipped the back of the board of the leader there, Fiona Wild. And now we have a sneaky there move coming from Seychelles. Inside, just a little bit. And Kim Barnes, Kim Barnes has, uh, took, has moved up to fifth fourth. To fourth. So Rika Okuaki has recovered as well. Holly Pie is being pushed Holly by the Pai wind went, to Yeah, the side. she went Rika pretty Okuaki wide right there. Correcting her course. She might uh, get that fourth, uh, that fifth place, but it's only the top three that counts for a straight qualification to the semifinal. Fiona Wild's got it by the look of it. Melanie Lafenet in second, Seychelles in third. Now, the interesting thing will be how far behind are fourth, fifth, and sixth going to be because if, as we expect, their times are pretty fast and if they're pretty close, then they can almost guarantee that they will be in. There's Georgia in there. She's having a good old swim there uh, in the background, our hard-working, intrepid photographer. But Fiona Wild, that was a perfect race. She'll go back and uh, watch the video of that and she'll be very, very happy with what she's seen. Such Fiona an experienced Wild, peddler. Yep. Number one. What an experienced paddler. What a great paddler she is. So Melanie and Finette Seychelles, hint. second and third. Nice, nice racing. I'll tell you what, there's a bit of not, there's a... Uh, there we go, there's Kim. Kim pulling in fourth with a fast time. We'll see if that gets her uh, moving, uh, moving forward. Yeah, that's a good move by Kim to actually sprint I, to the finish. I, I'm going to stick my neck out here. I think all of those girls were pretty fast. I reckon the top six... We'll probably all manage to get through to the next round, I reckon. But let's wait for some confirmation of, uh, of who will get through to the next round. Was it uh, heat number three where we think there were a couple of disqualifications? Let's see. So SB Barraras got through from uh, Rivet. Oh, 319. Let's have a look at the time. 319. Yep. So those are the three who got through in uh, heat number one. Marta Apanasevic with a much lower time, more than 20 seconds of difference with SP. Great to see uh, Irin Negri from Thailand through in second. Yeah, 332, no. so Anna Cherky. This was the race where we had the disqualifications, wasn't it? Um, I guess Heat we did. Number yes, three. indeed, because uh, Maddie Lovla is not up there in the top three. She should have come back. Yep. Suzak winning that uh, race quite comfortably. Three Spaniards there, uh, Matthew. You'd be happy with that, even though you're French. You're sort of half Spanish or maybe a third <laughs> Spanish, are you? Hola, que tal? Yep. And, uh, so that's the end of the uh, results we can bring you at this stage. Still collating more results. But now we move on to the open men. Uh, technical races and again uh, some pretty stacked semi-finals uh, uh, heats we're going to see here You've top five the top five in each race here will go through to the semi-final and then the three next best times and in this first heat well uh, let's see that some of the names we've got in here we've got uh, Oli Swartz from Germany we've got uh, Limus Carlson from Sweden Michael Booth from Australia, Gutong Yi is there from China. And Shuri Araki, definitely one of the favorites with a signature green hat. It says keep paddling. 
the uh, 17 year old phenomenon from uh, Okinawa, Japan. But don't forget, there is also Fernando Perez Serra from uh, uh, Spain, from Andalusia, who, uh, who won uh, recently uh, an APP World Tour event in Korea. So definitely uh, a big name to watch out for, as well as you named him already, Oli Schwartz and uh, Michael Booth. Michael Booth who has a, had a disappointing long distance race yesterday. Uh, he told me. No, he told me that uh, I had a chat with him last night. Um, he had a bit like you, Matthew. He had a bit of food poisoning for a couple of days, which laid him a bit low. He said he still wasn't feeling a hundred percent yesterday, and went oh. And when he uh, went to try and dig deep to stick with the rest of the field, he really struggled. He didn't have the strength to do it. So. But uh, there he is out there now. Let's have a look across here. I think he's uh, on the... There he is in the right-hand side chasing Araki from Japan. So it looks like Araki has gone straight to the lead. Michael Booth right there with him. And then down here on the left Fernando here... Fernando Perdecera yeah, from Spain Fernando now taking the lead. Taking the lead in front of Shuri. Oh. <coughs> Where's he going? Michael Holden on, number three. Ali, number four. So uh, getting into position, top five, all Whoa, go through. Almost surfing there. Well, one, one foot Between of surfing. Yeah. Number one and two, Fernando Perez are pushing hard. Shuri Araki. Oh, though. look at that wave. Yeah, it's, it's picking up for sure. Look at these waves now. This has really changed the race, hasn't it, for these athletes? They can, if, they can, if they can get themselves on a good wave, they're so going to uh, make a bit of ground. Great job, ICF, in putting the open uh, men later in the day. <laughs> I tell you who I tell you who will love this is uh, Michael Booth because he's been practicing on the waves off the uh, off Scarborough Beach in Perth That's in right. preparation for the Ocean Racing World Championships in a couple of weeks' time, and he will love the surf conditions here. And oh, there he is. There he's moved into third now. Booth, Michael Booth. Michael Booth in third. We have uh, Linus Carson in fourth. Uh, we have Oli Schwartz in sixth. I'm not sure who's in. Uh, fifth right now between these two well there we are we've got it on the screen there though. thank you very much to our, our gps team they've managed to hook some of the athletes up with the gps monitors so we're able to get updates on uh on who's leading who's in the top top uh, four or five positions but it is fernando perez in front and sitting second at the moment is the japanese paddler shuri araki and i think michael booth was third third uh, who do we fourth? We had Swe the Swede Linus Carlson. Here he is, just coming into the. That's uh, him right there, Linus Carlson in fourth place. Who is in fifth? Uh, I, I think is that Ali in fourth? No, Ali no. Schwartz is the. Oh, uh, he's Sick. in sixth place from Germany. The tall uh, blonde athlete from Germany. That uh, may that well be. Uh, Lasse, Lasse is our tag in could seventh. Well be. Yep. Yep. There it is. There's and our surf, the surf finish Araki. coming in here, catching some bumps. So Perez still in front. It is Araki second. Michael Booth sitting in third position. It's tough to see from this angle, but uh, I'm pretty sure Sherry has definitely uh, moved into first here. Ooh, look at this wave now. Araki's oh yeah, going to get this wave. He's Fernando got this. right there. Just missing it. He, he, Milking yep. those ripples all uh, the look, way to the finish line. Araki has Araki. got a... He's got a dream wave there into the finish. I love watching Shuri. No matter what, he always just goes for it at the end. He yep. clearly is going to make the top five. <laughs> so, yes. So, Rocky first. Perez second. Michael Booth crossing in third. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh Linus Carlson. Oh, what's going on there? Oli Schwartz is going to get the fifth place. No, for the finish, Woo. I guess, between... Uh, and one three six is Oli Schwartz. And Carlson there as well. And I think we also have in the mix there, Guitong Ye, of course. We didn't call him earlier uh, on. They're calling Ali fifth. They're calling Ali fifth, were they? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the judges Next hit, know hit number best. two of the open men's technical race. Quarterfinals, we've got Itzel El Gallo, the Peruvian Prince. Also an infinity speed freak. Pasta Korn, Vanit. Uh, Vanish Patum One from Thailand, Miftahuddin Parid from Indonesia. We saw that name before. Takahiro Kashiwabara from Japan. Andre Petrak from Czechia. Andre Crater from Bulgaria. Vincenzo Mano Bianco from Italy. Roberto Canedo from Spain. Yi Hung Lin from Taipei. Kizi Luo from China. Tai Judson from Australia and Fung Kwan from Look Hong at Kong. Uh, 
Look at Andre Crater there wearing 007. If anyone, if any of our athletes was James Bond like, if any of our athletes was James Bond like, it's Andre Crater. He's, he's, <laughs> he is an international man of mystery. There's yeah, no doubt about that. I would, I would cast him as a villain in the. Gentleman I would have thought he was a villain too. He's <laughs> and huge shout out to him for organizing all the boards. Yeah. Uh, so many athletes have benefited from him and adding on getting these boards here and making that happen. Yeah. It is not easy if you're watching this and uh, not familiar. Taking a 14-foot carbon fiber board on an airplane is uh, yeah. impossible, so it makes uh, challenging to foreign countries very, very difficult. Which, uh, in fact, here's a question for our viewers at home. Which James Bond villain is Andre Crater most like? <laughs> is it Goldfinger? Uh, Goldfinger, of course, was one of the, uh, the heinous, the heinous <laughs> villains. I'm sure he's loving the 007, though. The, uh, the James, he's a bit Daniel Craig-like, isn't he? Or is he more your Pierce Brosnan? I'm not sure which 007 he most relates to, but uh, he, uh, he, <laughs> he will be out there. Oh, he's got a son of her. That's definitely uh, uh, another thing that you, uh, we, we have to pinpoint. He was on Starboard, and Starboard was very chuffed of having a top four, uh, a top four in the sprints in the finals the other day, on two days ago. Now, Andre Crater has picked the, uh, the uh, uh, open water uh, board by Sonova. Right next to another Sonova that, uh, that is uh, Andre Petrak from Czechia. Vincenzo Marbanko there on the other side of uh, James Bond. And then next to him, uh, sporting the, uh, the Matthew Astier haircut. <laughs> I think that is uh, Roberto Canedo, is it, from, uh, from Spain? If it, yeah, bib uh, number 94, yes. It's El Delgado, though, definitely a favorite for this race. Is in lane first. We don't see uh, him. Ty uh, Judson the is there as well. Now, I'm trying to remember back at our very first World Championships in China. Ty Judson finished on the podium, but I'm trying to remember uh, where he finished. Have, but don't don't uh, mix him up with Lincoln Dews, who won the uh, technical race in who, 20. Lincoln Dews, yes, also Lincoln from won. Australia. Lincoln won, that's for sure. But I'm just uh, wondering yep. if Ty finished on the podium or not. Anyway, he's, uh, he's a welcome addition back to the field so yes keep those suggestions coming in which villain <laughs> does <laughs> which which villain <laughs> does this i mean that means we have to have a superhero too well if we have a villain who's the superhero i, I don't know I, maybe the peruvian yeah. prince if the peruvian uh, prince the peruvian clearly prince has prince the nickname already you reckon yeah so andre crater which james bond villain does he most resemble or if you want to suggest that he does remind you of a particular James Bond character, which James Bond is he? Is he Pierce Brosnan? Is he Daniel Craig? Oh, definitely Daniel Craig. You reckon? Oh, yeah. Look at the, those muscles. Yeah, but Daniel, well, okay. You can, see, uh, you can see our ITOs out here. A big shout out to all the volunteers. There is such an enormous workforce of individuals doing an amazing job organizing these athletes, uh, starting these races, uh, getting people ID checks in and out. Uh, all these ITOs are, are doing a phenomenal job. Uh, what you can't hear is uh, on the beach, they're introducing every one of these athletes and the countries that they're coming from, uh, giving them huge shout outs uh, that, that you can't hear right now. But uh, again, just such an amazing uh, group of individuals that have that Pattaya has put together here. Uh, Michael, great job. Michael Kelly is suggesting that Andre Crater could be playing the part of Jaws. <laughs> Remember Jaws, the James Bond villain with the uh, the big... The, 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 the That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, keep those suggestions coming. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll collate them and do up a list and present them to Andre after he crosses the finish line in this... So what have we got? We've got a bit of a delay here. What's happening? It looks like there might be a, a timing. Uh, the timing booth is holding them back just a little bit, making sure that they have everything set. Yeah. Uh, the GPS uh, tracker is working. They're doing a great job getting those on all the athletes and taking them off immediately. Uh, very impressive operation that they're doing here. When you see those red flags go down and those white flags go up, you know it's, uh, it's getting serious. Uh, Jerry Yang says uh, James Bond equals Andre. Yes, that's, uh, that's what we're suggesting, that uh, he is channeling the channeling the, uh, the the good deeds of James Bond
Okay, so we've just been officially told by Mr. Hoi Shan Kwan, who is the most important man here in Patea this week. Uh, this is basically his show. They uh, have got a delay because they can't close the previous race yet because they're having some problems with the results from the previous race. So until that is closed, thank you very much, James Bond. Uh, until that result is official, we uh, we can't start the next race. So it gives us plenty more time to talk about our favourite James Bond movies. And uh, I was a big fan of Live and Let Die. I think that's my favourite James Bond movie. And in fact, uh, I saw Paul McCartney a few weeks ago playing in Sydney. Excellent show. Never seen him live before. He played Live and Let Die, magnificent. The fireworks went off. Uh, it was just uh, an awesome moment, awesome moment to, uh, to be enjoying live music and one of the greatest artists of all time, singing the theme song to the greatest James Bond movie of all time, in my humble opinion, gentlemen. Do you want to, do you want to challenge me on that or Ten not? 10-4. Huh? 10-4. Sure. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thanks, Rob. You know, again, you know, going back to these athletes and what's going through their head right now, not only, not only when you're standing there and your heart rate is uh, sitting at way higher than it should be because there's a lot of anticipation and anxiety going in here, but if you see those rows behind, uh, each one of those rows were set up five minutes, ten minutes, and then they're staging outside those rows 15 minutes ahead. It looks like we uh, maybe are getting back in action here uh, to get started. They must have uh, finalized some timing here. The timing booth is ready. You can see the uh, officials uh, getting into position. Our athletes are all re-ready for their heat. It's Elgado, Andre Crater, Ty Justin. These are the three top names that you might know, but we also have lots of dark horses from Indonesia, from Thailand, from Japan. Let's there see who's got go. the best start. Oh, it look is at P.S. Brosnan there. Andre Crater. Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd on the, uh, the right-hand side. It's all Fantastic. great start. Andre, great start. It's El Algado. I started really well also on the left-hand side of your screen. Andre, though, still in the lead, and he'll be uh, on the inside of that uh, buoy. It's El Algado pushing hard on that infinity ball. Who have we got in third? Andre Petrak in third. Roberto Can oh, Roberto Canedo now from Spain. Or oh, is it Ty Judson? Ty, Ty Judson. Ty Judson is on the inside there on the uh, the blue board, sitting in fourth position at the moment. So top five, the top five all go through straight through to the semi final. But at the moment, it is uh, James Bond and the Prince of Peru out in front. Wow, this is the making of a great movie, folks. <laughs> Who's going to win? It <laughs> look, looks like he might have the inside lane right here. He does, and he's going to get that turn first. Yeah, it's El Gato now. 005 is Ty Judson, yes, that's correct. Ty Judson, a bit then, wobbly uh, on, that, uh, on that buoy turn. Roberto Canedo from Spain might uh, take advantage of that, but uh, Ty Judson now pushing hard again to uh, maintain that third position. Oopsie daisy, a couple of. Oh my goodness, what's Vincenzo happening here? Mano somebody's, falling down. somebody's put hot butter on that board. Uh, but uh, at the front, though, it is the uh, the Prince of Peru and Pierce Brosnan going hammer and tong there out Our in front. Our superhero followed yes. by the villain. The super hit. Well, the superhero is second. The villain is in front. Can the superhero catch him? Spider-Man, uh, the Peruvian Spider-Man. <laughs> <That's, can they laughs> catch him. It's El Elgado. Before the finish line, well, look at that. He's just tracking him down now. I think they're finding their comfortable groove. They, they know yeah. that they're in the front here. They don't want to kill themselves before tomorrow. It's hot out there. People have been, uh, they've been hanging out all day waiting for, waiting for their race, being that so it's already uh, 2.43. Challenging uh, Andre Crater for, uh, for the second position. Andre Crater recovering that second place. Roberto Canedo on the son of a board in fourth. But Itzel Elgado is cruising at the front on that Blackfish uh, Infinity flat deck board. 21.5, I think it is, for uh, Itzel. So the villain wins this round. <laughs> oh, flying in those little bumps, huh? Yeah, that board. absolutely. You can see there uh, Andre Crater from Bulgaria second. 
Pai Johnson from Australia sitting in third position at the moment. So top five go through. Who are in the top five? It's El Elgado, of course. He's nice happy with that one. It's all right there. I bet he's really happy about that. Yeah, of course. It's a, it's a good race for him. Yeah, yeah call me. Is. He says, call me. I'm available. Andre Crater, great race. Ooh, 007. Uh, looking someone's good. limping. You've noticed, haven't you? Ty Justin was limping. Was he just? Uh, in fourth, Roberto Canedo. And the fifth one, 073, Takash Takahiro Kashiwara from Japan is through to the semis third heat coming up a question gentlemen from uh from one of our viewers that you can both answer from jenny jenny's curious what the difference is between the two nsp dugouts on the start it seems like a flatter deck would be better in these conditions i'm seeing a lot of falls on the dugouts what do you think gentlemen i think it's really really down to personal choice um yeah that that's 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 my my simple answer. So I think no to difference to in the conditions, you don't think? Uh, it, it there is, but based on what you are uh, used to uh, on an individual basis, so some people just love the stability of a of a dugout, just because you are lower on the water, and others uh, prefer a flat deck because it just can move around a little bit uh, e uh, easier on on a flat deck, not being a uh, uh, bothered by the uh, by the side walls of the uh, of the dugout. Here they go. Excellent question, Jenny. Thank you for that. All right, who are we watching in this one? Bastian Grimm is here. Uh, Jonathan Hagen is here from Australia. Yeah, uh, Rose McGarry from Ireland is uh, there. But on the deep ocean board, I think they see is Johnny Hagen on the uh, on that pink uh, deep ocean board with the. Uh, Black Project Paddle. 003 is uh, Johnny Hagen. He has gone into the lead. Now, who's this coming down on the left-hand side oh. of the course? That might be the... F is that the Frenchman, Mathieu? Uh, Wilfried Hervé. I've never seen this uh, name ever in my life, so that's uh, a bit of a weird one. We've got Thomas Grossub, though, in, uh, oh. in third place from the Czech Republic, from Czechia. Czechia, Czechia yeah, yep. 003, Johnny Hagen out there in front, though, uh, got the race to himself. So Johnny uh, Hagen, with, uh, who's, who's uh, got a very strong uh, surf life saving background, Absolutely. being Australian, I guess that comes naturally with your, uh, with your citizenship, <laughs> with your Australian yeah. citizenship I mean, down there. <laughs> all of these guys, they spend a lot of their sup time on the ocean and, uh, and do a lot of sup work so there. They also... In second got the place, top, it is Mikolai Maiden. These, these top five moving forward, they're all in their own race of their own right now. Six, uh, six and above, kind of a nice little gap happening right there. Mikolai Maiden. struggle around that second buoy right there. Yeah. Mikolai Maiden from uh, Poland in second place. Thomas Grosup from Czechia in Oh, uh, who's third that gone off? Place. Right. Who's that gone off? No, it I think that's a, a late going the other way. Yeah, wow. Okay, just the, getting uh, in the way. The first uh, half of the of the race, but Johnny Hagen is cruising at the front on that uh, deep ocean board, made in a New Zealand oh. slash Australia. Yep. I'm not sure. Good mention. Good mention. Well done, uh, Matthew. To you. So do I get uh, hundred euros every you time? You might I get a free I board. Mention the the board the board brand. <laughs> But this has been a very you comfortable just hear a cash register machine. Every ding, ding. time. <laughs> <laughs> so Johnny Hagen in first, Mikolai Maidan in second, and Thomas Grossup in third. This uh, no dramas at all for these first five. They are all safely through, so they don't need to do anything silly here. Just go around that last boy, and let the waves carry you into the shore, folks. Only, only dark horses, huh, In this, uh, in this quarterfinal. This is not a. I mean yeah, I, I, I don't want to take anything away from these athletes, but the, there's none of the people that we would expect to challenge for a medal are in this. In this. Well, uh, Johnny heat. Hagen could be a surprising, uh, could be surprising later on. I mean, he, uh, he did well at a big international event uh, just a few weeks ago on, on the west coast of France, and uh, but he's only starting really, uh, Johnny. Uh, it's been uh, sub racing for seriously for a year, year and a half. He's also foiling quite a lot. Spent some time in Maui on a, on a foil board. That's him right there crossing the line. Mikolai Maidan 
second place. That's Poland right there. And uh, Thomas Grossup from Czechia in third. Two more spots available for a straight qualification to the semis. 45 is Bastian Grimm Bastian from, Grimm, uh, German. from Germany. And here we have the last of the top five. One, two, eight. Who is... Jung uh, Yoon Park. Jung Yoon Park from Korea. From Korea. Oh, already? We've got... <laughs> heat okay, and we've got another heat starting right now. Get ready. Get excited. David yeah. Alpino, definitely uh, one of the top names to watch. And in Daniel Hasulio well is also in this. Uh, 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 Daniel Hasulio. He's 58. Uh, so he should, there he is up there on the left of your screen. Daniel Hasulio. In the middle, it is uh, 82. That is uh, uh, Thomas Lacerdo is there from uh, Toba Lacerdo from Portugal. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, I jumped a hit right there. So it's is uh, that uh, your friend Polar Bear as well? Uh, I think it might be in this race. Uh, is not. Is, oh, yes, he is. He is uh, Christian Anderson, of course. There he is. The NSP. There he is, out in front. Out in front, of course. So Christian Anderson in front. Daniel Hasulio is second. And I think uh, Tom Alicerda from Portugal currently sitting third. Who else is in? Herman Huslane, the uh, Olympian from 2012, is in this race. Uh, there's a couple of... There uh, Will Keatley's there from Great Britain. Nice turn by Daniel right there. So Daniel Studio, yes. Yeah, second, uh, uh, Thomas Lacerda, also on a cheetah. That's the new uh, board introduced uh, only a few weeks ago uh, by NSP. So our top three are uh, Denmark, Hungary, and um, Portugal. Who have we got in four and five? 28, I, I think. I think I saw Zuri. Herman Hustlane up there, but I'll need to get another look. But I just thought I spotted his distinctive hairdo. And um, mm -mm, Will Kidley should be in the mix as well. A fast uh, racer from uh, the south uh, west of England, from Devon, from Kingsbridge. Daniel Hasulia, though, he'd be determined to do well here. Probably didn't have the result he wanted yesterday in the, uh, in the distance race. Of course, his brother Bruno, as you mentioned, a great story. I went back and looked at it, actually, uh, on your total sub page. The, uh, Bruno Hasselio is the story behind his retirement at the age of, I think, 28, you said, Matthew. Yeah. Hanging up, the, uh, hanging up the competitive paddleboard. But he is here this week. I've seen him uh, wandering around the place and uh, because he's got a side business now. Well, not a side business. It's his main business now, I think, isn't it? For yes. Bruno. Uh, he's got his own brand, BR1. Uh, so Bruno, the Bruno brand. So a change again in the lead. I think it's uh, Christian Anderson in front. Daniel Husulio is sitting in second. And uh, Tommy Lacerdo from Portugal in third position. Well managed by uh, these two racers at the front. Christian Anderson, NSP. Officially announced as an NSP uh, racer in uh, January by uh, Team uh, NSP International. And Daniel Asulio, uh, who is part of Starboard. He'd be pretty happy to, uh, he looked pretty happy there crossing the finish line. 82 is uh, Lacerdo from Portugal. Now, who is in fourth and fifth? Is that. Uh, so that is not Herman Huslane. Herman Huslane is on the race. Yeah, Herman Huslane is fifth. So 28. 28 is. Zuri uh, Lee. Yeah from China. So China and Thailand come through in fourth and fifth. Great to see Herman Hustlane going through. He's one of the most uh, rounded paddlers. He, everything he seems to try, he seems to be very, very good at. And being a Thai, well, it's great to see him go straight through to the next round of the men's technical. All right, top five go to the semifinals. We've got in this heat, Mr. Blue Ewer, Mr. David Alpino, Noe Ganyu, two-time gold champion this week already, going for a third potentially tomorrow. For that, he will have to uh, be in the top five first in this uh, quarterfinal. Number five, what are the uh, other names we've got? Uh, Akash Shetty from India, Li Jung Chang from Taipei, Daniele Neviera from Italy, Septenando Oromati from Indonesia, Nikos Valas from Greece, Donga Jang from Korea, Sira Ngamja Nyapon from Thailand, Chin Zeng Li from Taipei, and Shen Yue Chong from China. 
Who's going to be able to challenge Noe Gayu? That is the big question I well, have you think, right now. You think Blue Ewer would, would be able to match him early on with speed, surely. Uh, but and whether, David Alpino. Yes, of course. Uh, whether they can stick with him, though, for the entire distance. It is only one lap. Don't forget, when we get to the semi-final stage, it will be two laps. So it'll go from a 500-metre race to a one-kilometre race. And I think that will include a beach sprint in the middle. Hoishan, I'm looking at you uh, for the semi-finals yep, and finals. There's going to be a, a beach. There's going to be a beach portage turnaround. You should know, Rob. You've yep. got to prepare for it, mate. Yeah, I should. I should start getting prepared. So there'll be a beach portage in the middle after the first lap. How yep, far is the beach gonna, portage going to be? They're going to. Well, they're going to jump off their boards. They got to go around uh, one little flag on the beach. I don't think it's too far, but uh, that'll that'll equal a, a two-lap race coming up tomorrow for the semi-finals and the finals. Whereas today was only a one-lap tech. Right around 500 meters. I think it was just a little over 500 meters, and uh, so we're going to have a, a good, uh, a, a good thousand meter plus. Everybody uh, loves being on tomorrow. the big screen, don't they? Everybody loves being on the camera. What a great crowd, and it's really Look cool that crowd, everybody's yeah. able to hang out in the water and uh, cool down a little bit while they're watching their favorite athletes here. It's a great setup they put together here. See, you couldn't do that in Australia because you get eaten by sharks or box jellyfish. Or maybe a stingray might come along and wrap yourself around your leg or a sea snake. So here are <laughs> all these different things. This no, is why no, Australia, safer, much safer here. This in is the why Gulf Australians paddle fast because they don't want to, they want to stay ahead of the stingrays. New and York, the, other things that the South China Sea is safer. Yeah. Nikos Valas. You, but hang on a minute, Rob. You say that, but I noticed along the beach here, and I, I've been for a swim the last couple of mornings, they've got fenced off areas. What are they keeping out? Well, since there's no nets below, I'm not really certain they're keeping out anything. <laughs> so what are they there But for? it really is comforting <laughs> when you're swimming out there. So they're actually not, because I swam inside them because I thought, oh, there's, this is obviously safe areas to swim because there's obviously something out here that can eat me. I think that it keeps the boats out, but ah, it doesn't, but, uh, I don't think... Okay. Uh, your shark risk is still the same. So tomorrow I don't need to go into the roped off area to swim. Well, I'm assuming. <laughs> yes. Wow, what a fool. I what mean, a fool am it I. Is. Same, issue. same issue again, folks. We've got a little technical issue there. But it gives us more time to talk about sharks. Tomor tomorrow's race, Rob. Uh, and by the way, uh, Rob uh, Sanoi. Sanoa. Sanoa. I'm going to call you Sanawi. I hope you don't mind. I, I, uh, Dr. Sanawi. I've made it a rule during this commentary, and Matthew's been uh, letting me do it, that I've, every name I announce, I've got to butcher it and get it wrong. So I'm going to call you Sanawi, if that's all right. I said Matthew's name about 20 times in my head, and I still got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, to, to, the, to the point where I've, I even came up with no, new versions of but it. But what you've got to do, you've got to say it with a French accent. So you say, Matthew, as you, <laughs> like that. So you give it the French Give it a French sound, and then because the French will go, oh yeah, that's right, that's spot if on. If only you guys could see his smile right now. <laughs> uh, so Rob, just uh, race us, run us through again what the semi-final will entail. So you'll you'll do the beach start like this. You'll do one lap. It's exact same race. It's going to be amazing. And when you get to the beach at the end of this first lap, rather than running up through that finish line, these racers are going to have to grab their boards, paddle in hand. They're going to run up around a flag a strategically placed flag right there on the sand and they're going to go right back to that second lap they're going to do it all over again so uh, there were a lot of exhausted people in this heat and humidity after one lap today it's going to be pretty exciting to see uh, what these guys can do uh, tomorrow you'll see me uh, in the back of the pack I what's, already, your, what's your tactic going to be Rob, i already you? saw him is not die that's the where i'm going to start i already saw uh, my heat has uh, tim strategy. oliver and thomas bidet in it so i'm um, pretty certain i'm not going to be second well don't don't write yourself off there i know there's a bit of trash <laughs> talking going on so on our chat line uh, Ginny Betts says blue is the real James Bond 007. Oh, I would agree. look at this. He does. Well, thank you for all those who are following us and yeah. listening to our banter yeah. today. We really appreciate it. And you know what? We really appreciate you giving us some slack, too. What you're seeing is exactly what we're seeing. We're, yep. we're hiding in a tent in the yep. back of the, uh, of the booth here. We can't see anything on, uh, on the water except the screen in front of us. So we're doing our best to bring this action live to you, you can so you can see follow your favorites. Yeah, if you look back there, the, the tent on the left, uh, the we're back. the tent behind that one. Yeah, yeah. Where you're, you're not going to see, oh, look at this. Look at that close Ooh. up there. Akash Shetty from uh, India. He's a regular on our world championships. Great to see him here representing India. 
L- Lu Jiang Chang from uh, Taipei. Oh, well, that was a good idea. It was a good idea while it lasted. Uh, who's that there next team? We're Se- going to... Uh, Septen Androv Oromati. Here is uh, Daniele Neviera he from looks, Italy. He's a bit James Bond-like, isn't he? He's a bit villain-like with those tattoos. He's he looks he, a little Maui-like. Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, Okay, looks ready like they are getting s- getting and by the way, started. gentlemen, uh, by the way, we've got a um, from Indonesia. We've got a message here from CS Pro Creativity Club who tells us there are small sharks out there. Apparently, uh, the locals eat them, and they're yummy. I think I had one of those yesterday. Did you really? And a jellyfish. See, that's what Matthew should have had. He had a chicken nugget last night, and he was on the toilet for about six hours. <laughs> that's it. You can't do that. You got to. You got to. to him this morning. You I mean, just stare and point. What and a rookie! Say, I mean, you just say one of those. <laughs> what a rookie what error! What a rookie error! He's come all the way to Thailand, and he orders nuggets, chicken nuggets, and then he for goes for the oh. first time in two and a half. Weeks. He says, "I wonder why I'm feeling sick," and Big the whole mistake. family. You they needed a shit. break. Sometimes you just need some comfortable protein. That you know. <laughs> all right, guys, we're ready. Here we go. We've got Noe Gayu, the two-time. World champion this week who's going for a third one. Before that, he needs to get qualified to the semifinals. There we go. Great He's got a lot of Blue clean water Ewer too. In the middle, Blue Ewer and David Alpino. So, uh, two NS, one NSP um, among a field of uh, three starboards with Noe Gayu leading the pack now in uh, first position. He will have the inside advantage uh, reaching that uh, first buoy. From Numea, New Caledonia, France. Uh, Noe Gaiu, Blue you are in second. David Alpino, and equal third with uh, uh, the gentleman from Japan. I think Donga Jung. Let's have a uh, confirmation of that number. If it's a 74, it is uh, Donga Jung. Is it from or is Korea, it? It's not a Korean, Japan, not Korea. Japan. He's uh, Korean, yes. But look at uh, Nui Garu. He's in good form, isn't he? He is really paddling well at the moment out in front. Blue you are. Just been uh, revealed by our viewers as the the real James Bond. He sits in second position, and then it is uh, the Italian Alpino sitting in third, and then I think it is the Korean. Is it? Uh, no, that's no, Greek. That's Va- um, Where's our Korean friend gone? Yeah, He's that's Nikos Valas right now, number fifty-two, uh, from Greece. That's the uh, Korean one, seventy-four. In yep. fifth position, so still through. 104 is in sixth. That is uh, our uh, Thai paddler, Jamian Porn. Oh, and we've had a stack here on the uh, on the second boy. Nothing too dramatic, though, but uh, he has slipped back now th- through the field. So a bit of work to do if he wants to get into the top five. And they're all chasing Nui Guru, who is in such good form this week, you would not want to bet against him bringing up a hat trick of gold medals. Yeah, not, not only in, in top form, but he gave a master s- masterclass uh, in strategy. Look at Blue, though. Long distance yesterday. Look, no at, you. look at Blue Ewer, though, just reminding him that he's not going to go away. He is on the scene, just pointing the nose over the back of his board. Yeah, these guys don't need to push that hard. They are through. Uh, we have uh, a Greek paddler, Nikos Valas, also f- through virtually at this stage uh, in fourth position. Who's got the fifth? Is it still the uh, Korean paddler, Donga Jang? We're going to have a visual confirmation of that in a moment. But first of all, it is the Gaoyu show here in Jomchen Beach, Pattaya, Thailand, on day four of the ICF Sub World Championships 2023. Noi Gayu milking those ripples all the way to the uh, beach of uh, Pattaya. Big smile on his face for someone who's going to be a daddy in a few months. He's pretty young still. Yeah, smile while uh, you can. <laughs> smile while you can. You'll smile be, while you can, you'll bro. Be slower in two years. Because <laughs> I tell you what, about May next year. Well, you'll smile. It's going to be a wonderful event for you. But I tell you what, you'll have tired eyes. You'll have bags under your eyes when you're running out there. This is racing. a good time for the hat trick, no week. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. No, parenthood is a wonderful thing. I've done it a couple of times myself. It's uh, very much worth it. And we don't have to do anything, us blokes. Life is easy for us. I can tell you. Uh, now crossing the line is uh, Nikos Valas from uh, Greece in fourth, and we have our uh, Korean athletes. Donga Jang in fifth right now. 
And a big, big thank you to uh, to Ginny Betts and Chris McDonald for your lovely messages. Uh, they're enjoying the commentary very much. Um, so thank you for your lovely feedback, guys. We're certainly having a lot of fun bringing you the racing this afternoon. You have to excuse us if we get slightly distracted occasionally. It is a long day. We've been commentating for a long time, uh, and it's quite warm in here. But uh, we're enjoying it. We're having fun, aren't we, lads? It's all about having fun. Uh, yep. Yeah, Not yeah. only that, but the tide is going out right now. Uh, the tide was uh, high at 1 o'clock, 1 p.m., and uh, it's going to be low at 7.41. So these guys have an outgoing tide that is now changing the game a little bit as well. We've got Jeremy Tolad right here with the SIC Maui Atlantis board. We have Clément Colmas, who pulled from the long distance yesterday, and Paolo Marconi right in the middle with the, the son of a board. We've got Fiden Dukas as well, also top. And Clément Colmar, is, right in right Clément in Colmar is in there as well, Matthew. So uh, there's, a, there's a sprinkling of talent, of big name talent. And I think, in fact, that might be him. Right who, no, that's uh, right to Gucci. Look right at him go. Is also in the mix. Good start by the two starboard international racers, Raita Gucci and Clement Colmas, the SIC uh, Maui paddler there on the left. Who is that? that Who's is that in the middle? Who's that in the uh, the Taguchi Colmas sandwich there? He's the. Oh, uh, David Leao. It's David Leao, of course, on the SIC Maui board. Well, I didn't recognize him with a uh, green hat on. From Brazil. Brazil. Raita Gucci in the lead. Japan. France and uh, Brazil and in the top three. Man, look at that shot. That looks awesome. The swell is still, look at that. Look at the waves just roll. This I mean, might get a little dicey right yeah, here. Yeah, I think we're going to see. Ooh, watch oh, out, Great boys. skills there by uh, Rai. David Leo is taking What's the second going on spot here? in oh, second somebody's place. gone very wide. Get Paolo Marconi is in fifth, so uh -oh. Paolo Marconi is uh, through. There's your top five. They've moved through. Who was that that had the stack there? 32, that is... Uh, Jeremy Tolad uh, is in six. Oh, from Taipei. Taking a unique line. Yes, very interesting. But look at Rai Taguchi. How much do you reckon he'll want to win a gold medal here? He was leading for that uh, the men's distance race almost the entire race and then just got run over at the end. Uh, he will desperately want to try and get a wow. gold medal here in the, uh, the technical uh, race. Yeah. Buoy yep. turn there for Rai, huh? Just one uh, one stroke turn. Phenomenal. Beautiful. Not only that, but right, I think, turns right and left. Uh, so just uh, for those wondering back. what I was talking about before, there in the background, you can see the roped off area. <laughs> so I thought that was to keep the things out that might eat you, but apparently it's just to keep the boats out. So <laughs> Ross, <laughs> Ross swim area is not as uh, <laughs> safe anymore. I'm just Sorry we've ruined that for you. Uh, tomorrow I'm just going to swim wherever I fall. Right. I don't care where I go. Jeremy Talad might uh, make the most of that wide turn by Paolo Marconi right in front of him for a spot in the top five. But right Gucci at the front, oh. almost surfing there, along with uh, Clément Colmas, who, uh, who had uh, stomach, some stomach issues, actually, not uh, some abdominal muscle pain, but from the actually chicken, some stomach from the chi chicken nugget yeah, type. He had a little pain? bit of uh, <laughs> Thailand bloat. So, very comprehensive victory there for Mr. Ryo Taguchi. Uh, very interesting dismounting style there from, in second place, Clement, Clement Colmar from France. David Who Leao. Races across in, in third. third. And 53 is, uh, of course, Fiden Ducas, Ducas from, from uh, Greece. 65 Paolo is uh, Paolo Marconi, who will also go through to... So Jeremy Tolad arrives in sixth. That's the brother of Ludovic Tolad, who had a great race yesterday. He's actually racing in that next heat. The Tolad brothers are in the place. You know, it's worth mentioning the top five uh, are going through solid, but the third the three best times of all these men's heats as well. Not a lot, but you've got yep. uh, you've got that second last chance to be one of those three best times and, and move forward into the semifinals tomorrow. So we have in this one, uh, let's have a look who are some of the big Ludovic uh, two ladies in this race. Uh, Vadim Korobov uh, from Lithuania. We know he's very, very fast out of the gate, so he'll be up there challenging early on. Uh, Yep, Yamamoto from Japan, uh, you, 
Is your microphone working well? My microphone was off. I was saying you turned that, it off. Uh, Anastasios Tsouris uh, rookie, is... Uh, another rookie error there. He's been, <laughs> he's been commentating three races without his microphone on. <laughs> oh, that and was just that one been, sentence. Everyone's been sending him messages <laughs> saying, gee, the commentary's sounding great, guys. Keep you're like, going. boy, you're not saying a lot. <laughs> What's wrong with Matthew? Have you guys silenced him? <laughs> this is well, a anyway, deliberate ploy to silence Anastasios the French. Anastasios Tsouris is that gentleman in the middle of your screen, number 49, with the infinity board from Greece. Ludovic Tolad is right next to him, number 42, on the SIC, or with the SIC uh, Maui RS board. Uh, these are definitely uh, two of the favorites. Uh, what else? Uh, Vadim Korobov, uh, the sprint canoe. Uh, best time, best world best time. time. We, we call it world time. best time. That's him there with the, uh, the bandana on. Vadim Korobov, I'm betting he will be in front there for a little while. Let's see if he gets a good start. If you're, wa if you're watching from home, it. these racers, there's a line in the sand, and their, their foot has to be behind the line to What's start. the line made of? Is it, is it actually a Good a start by Ludo Tillad no, and like Anastasio Suris, but Ludovic Tillad is hammering down for a clear leading position oh. now. Oh. What's good? I think that's Korobov decided Korobov. to have a little sit down. He was uh, tired already. He wanted to eat some lunch. Yep. Uh, Ludovic Toludo, look at that. That uh, is a very out on his own, impressive start. I mean, just blowing away the rest of the field. On the NSP behind him, I haven't. So clear. who's that? No, that's not that. Uh, who's that in front then? Is that in the? Oh, hang on, we're already missing. Wow! Well, no, no, somebody's already blown the rest of the uh, the field away. So Ludovic Toulad right in front uh, with a good two boards well, length. Interestingly, over can I just tell you something? He's supposed to be wearing bib number 142. And he's wearing bib 42. So explain that to me, somebody, please. Uh, I don't know. I guess is the best answer I can uh, yeah. give you right now. He's got that this is 42, where we need. right, though? Uh, Anastasio Suris has got the inside. He's going to turn. Ooh, l look at the beautiful turn there by the Greek who uh, is regaining that second position. Who is in third, though? It's a nine. 229 maybe Yuchon Yuan from uh, from Taipei in uh, in third place right now quite possibly oh and there's a stack somebody's having a swim it's not a bad day for a swim actually it's bloody hot out there and uh, if you if you're not going to win why wouldn't you just fall off and have a dip just freshen up a little bit before you come in and see the fans Something nice about this water here in Thailand. It is just perfect temperature. It, well, you, maybe you it's a little bit too hot. You know, when you're... When well, you're maybe for your swimming. If you're swimming, sharks. yeah. In, with the baby sharks, with the gummy sharks, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little bit... Apparently, there's a lot of dolphins around here. I saw a lot of uh, dolphin advertising on the way down from Bangkok. I'm not sure what's going on there. So, uh, in true James Bond style, Ludovic Tulud. Ludovic's a good name it's a james bond character name isn't it for <laughs> sure it? ludovic Ludo ah, ludovic ah inspector ludovic to lude to see you mr bond <laughs> <laughs> and someone's going wide and that is uh, anastasios Turis, the greek paddler number 29 that is yu chun yuan from taipei in third so ignore the bib number there he's meant to be bib number 142 but he's wearing bib number 42 is uh, Ludovic Toulouse coming in now, catching a wave, carrying him to shore. Uh, wouldn't it be horrible if he gets to the shore and the officials come up and they say, "I'm sorry, you, we, we've got no, you've got the wrong, we've number. got no, <laughs> we've got no official record of you being in this race." <laughs> you watch this. You watch here. The officials are going to come up and they're going to try and uh, check him off. Let's just see what. It's <laughs> pretty impressive too because no, they, they're, be they're checking bib numbers. The officials have no idea. They go, "What's going?" <laughs> See? There it is. <laughs> Who's that guy? What's going on? Who's, Who's that this? guy? Who's He's in the wrong race. race. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, 49, I mean, that is. Uh, maybe we're on the wrong race. They're still scratching there. <laughs> oh, uh, that's What's weird. That's also the wrong uh, the wrong number. He's got the number wrong number for, as well, uh, is he? For Anastasia Churis. Oh, no. That's odd. What has happened? They're all wrong. Oh, these, Zang. these officials are Here's just... Here's what we know. These are some great paddlers out here, and they're paddling really Riding great. Corobus we don't know what their numbers are or who <laughs> they are, but they are doing fantastic. <laughs> That's love. That is weird. <laughs> official had no... Glad, glad we, know, we actually know them Whoa. physically because... Uh, <laughs>
I'm looking forward to so like we said, everybody. We are doing our best. Let's to bring just you pencil in action. the seventh heat because when I see those results come up, I want to see what uh, what they decide because there's at least two blokes in that field with the wrong bib numbers yeah. on. Yeah, at least two. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alessandros Suris was wearing 49 instead of uh, 143. So I'm looking to our man Hoi Shan Kwan, the most important man at this event. Uh, if you're wearing the wrong bib number, Hoi Shan, what does that mean? Is there any? He's just shrugging hands his shoulders. In the air. Hands in the hands air. Hands in the air. Somebody's in trouble later. Yeah. All That's right. So talking about big post, names, guys. We've got Arthur Arukin on the uh, starting line. Ooh, this is a stacked field. Along too. with Connor yeah, Baxter. We don't Woo. see Connor Baxter. Where, where is Connor? He'd, he'd be right on the outside there, I reckon. Right across he there. He doesn't exist. I can see his shadow. Inside. I can see his moonlight shadow, uh, Connor Baxter. So I'd be you very surprised if these is. two don't make it through. We also have Ricardo Haverschmidt from the uh, Netherlands on the Mistral board on the right hand side of your screen. Arthur Arikin is there. Manuel Hoyela. Manuel Oyuela? Where is Manuel? I don't He's see Manuel. Uh, yeah, oh, no, that's there him is. right yep, there yep, in the yep, middle yep. with a red. Uh, he usually has a blue board. This is a uh, pick the the red one for we this have, uh, one. Uh, Ricardo Haverschmidt there on the right hand side. Next to him, number 39 is Arthur Arikin. We'll expect him to go fast. And then next to him, 1 3 2. That's Edwin, Edwin Cornier, Cornier from Puerto Rico. So we can't see Connor Baxter on the screen at the moment. You'll see him in a minute though because he will be out challenging for the lead. He's like, I wish we saw him because I love his start. He's like a bouncing kangaroo. And and look Arrigan. at him go! Oh, look at him right go! Right at the front with Connor Baxter. Good start by uh, Arthur Aritkin, though, on the Infinity Blackfish. He's got the lead, actually. Yeah. And he's got the inside lane as well. Connor Baxter is he's coming have in a fast, direct line. Arthur Aritkin from, uh, from the north of France originally has traveled the world for windsurfing, for sub racing. Mm. And he's part of the uh, Infinity gang now. Uh, after uh, Fanatic decided to pull out of the uh, sub race game, being so busy with uh, selling um, uh, uh, sub surfboards, yeah. all round boards, but also wing uh, wing foil you gotta uh, put boards. You got to put food on the table. Uh, yeah, it looks wings. like Connor has now achieved the inside. Uh, there he has priority. Oh, what's oh, Watch out cheeky here. Cheeky move he's by, uh, by Arthur. There. Arthur giving him plenty of room. Mr. Baxter. He's, uh, Is he that Edwin business. number three right there, 132? Yeah, right behind him. I think so. Uh, one three yep. two is Edwin yeah. did phenomenal in uh, Sarasota. He he was killing it out there. Just a young gun, doing so great. We've got Sam, uh, Samuel Pesca in uh, fourth place from uh, Czechia, and uh, definitely uh, two of the guys who've been uh, reigning in the sub race world at the front of this uh, is this heat, Arthur Aritkin. Both of these guys have been APP World uh, World Champions overall in uh, at least one season. Looks like they're trading positions here a little bit. Just uh, making sure that they don't get in each other's way, though, because both of these guys would expect to be challenging for yeah, medals. Yeah, this and is going to get they dicey, though. They are definitely uh, they're going to have to. Connor's going to get pinched a little you bit. You reckon Arikin might be moving across to give him a little bit of a pinch, pincer movement? Look at this. Or oh, look at That's Connor nice. Baxter, though. He knows what to do. Just he's putting the butt cheeks, the butt cheeks on the buoy to give himself a little bit of flotation. New assistance. strategy. Yep. Edwin there, number three. So Manuel Oyuela went from fifth to uh, four now, and Samuel Pesca, I think that's him, right in uh, in fifth position right now. Ricardo Averschmidt is in seventh, and in sixth it is uh, Ivan Chirchov. Actually, now Ricardo Averschmidt going from seven to that's six. That's not a stand-up paddleboard turn. Chirchov being stuck at that buoy. Corner Baxter, though, he's looking good at the not, front. Not only is he leading this race, but he's also wearing the correct bib number. So uh, what a revelation. This is what we want to see. Bonus. Bonus. A bloke who knows what he's doing. Oh, just a little bit of a bobble there, but he is a man in control of his own domain there. Connor Baxter coming into the finish line now. Right behind him, bib number 39 is Arthur Arakin. Such a gentleman, Connor Baxter. He carries his own board up to the finish line to let the volunteers just have a little bit of time off because, and look, he neatly tucks it away there. Oh, no, uh, he's got sand uh, on the leg. Oh, uh, no. So Manuel Negative one. Winner Negative one. Oh, to third. Now he's, that's going to annoy him. Edwin Cornier from Puerto Rico in uh, fourth now. They're just saying, I'm and sorry, Samuel Mr. Baxter, Pesca can you get your board the out of the Republic way? In fifth. <laughs> so these five athletes are through. <laughs> We know, you wanna, we know you want to be neat and all that, but can you just move your bloody board, yeah. please? We've got athletes coming Stand through. Stand to the side, please. Yeah. 
get the, and <laughs> get that sand off your leg rope over there. Rookie. Excellent racing. Excellent racing. Another heat coming up. Another Whoa. one of your fellow oh. countrymen. What can, yeah, you tell us about, what can you tell us about Bodie? Bodie's uh, phenomenal. He's uh, a young gun from Wrightsville, right? O Oregon. O oh, yeah, Oregon. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm, glad we got, I'm glad we got you in here to give us some insights yeah, into the I'm American give you the insights, yeah. Bodie Bodie's a phenomenal rider and uh, really excited to see what he's going to do out here today. Bodie von Larman on the NSP. We also have Eri Tenoyo. I'm very excited to see this gentleman on the flying fish. It's the green board in the middle of your screen. It's from Brazil, but lives in Florida. We also have Antonio Morillo, one of the top uh, Spanish technical racers. Uh, Titoan Puyo, of course, he finished once again in a top spot yesterday, fourth yesterday in the long distance. We've got Sota Iwai from Japan. Le uh, Liran Mashlev, also a top racer, it, it should be on a starboard. Liran, where, uh, yeah, that's him on the, uh, the third from, from the right. Liran Mashlev. And Aaron Sanchez, is Aaron Sanchez there? Yes, he is, of course. Aaron Sanchez from Mallorca. He's also in the midst. This is a stacked field. Bodie Van Lomen is not having the best of the starts, Whoa. unfortunately. But in the middle, Eri Tenorio from Brazil is taking an early lead, followed by Aaron Sanchez from Mallorca on the starboard. Antonio Morillo and Tituan Puyo are in the chase in third and fourth right now. Erie had a great race uh, last month in uh, in Florida. He took uh, the hat trick. He took all three, the sprint, the tech, and the long distance race. Uh, first place finishes and really just showed a master class there. So he's, he's obviously gunning for this race here today. And a good lead for him at the front, Aaron Sanchez. Now, Tituan Puyo wearing a mustache. It's Movember. Is that what he's doing it for? Or is, he, uh, <laughs> is that why he's wearing it yeah. for, for Movember? Yes. Couldn't yeah, yeah, it's just a Movember thing that he's been doing every year. I remember I tried to do Movember one time, and <laughs> uh, I started in about uh, October or September, I think, because it takes me a while to grow a moustache. <laughs> and, you know, by the end, halfway through November, in fact, getting towards the end of November, some people came up to me and they said, why don't you do Movember? And I said, I am. I've been doing it for three months, you idiots. They go, why don't you actually grow a moustache? Anyway, that's a story for another day. <laughs> let's have a look. At, let's uh, have a look at the lead. Yeah, yeah. A bit of an awkward uh, move there for, uh, at buoy number two for Aaron Sanchez, who went from uh, two uh, from two to fourth. Who's that uh, going out through though? Uh, who's that going out wide to uh, check out the fishing boats to see if they've caught anything over the last twenty four hours? Somebody's going right off course. <laughs> Crazy. I don't know. Maybe they've seen a wave out there. They can catch 006, the brother of 007. In, uh, in the lead uh, at the moment. Bobble right there. Erie number one. Tituan Puyo in second. Antonio Mario in third. Another Spaniard in fourth. That's Aaron Sanchez on the starboard. We've got Flying Fish, NSP, NSP, starboard. Who's in fifth? Who's got that fifth advancing? Uh, automatic. Look, oh, look at that move. Guys, what a won. move. They what a Here move. it is. Now we have a race. We've got Sota Iwai in fifth. Top the five, Japanese. Top five move forward, but these three gentlemen want uh, they, they mean want business. it. That was a big move there from uh, one one three. That is uh, Murillo, Antonio Murillo. He tried to sneak on the inside, but now uh, Tenorio just flexing his wow. muscles, getting in front. Uh, he's got big muscles. Look at those arms. He's got arms as big as my legs. Uh, look at him though. He is going along very nicely. In Stop looking at my legs, Matthew. <laughs> That's very. You, you, you right yeah, now. <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm feeling very uncomfortable now in this commentary box. <laughs> I shouldn't have drawn attention to it's it. It's looking good, I have to say. Eri Tenorio uh, ahead of uh, two of the uh, the world's best uh, sub racers. That's a good statement that he's uh, nice job, throwing Eric. out there. Eri Tenorio from Brazil. Antonio Murillo second, Tituan Puyo third. Let's have a look at the Brazil. moustache. How's that it going? A good it's a He's good moustache. Yeah, that is. Uh, Brazil, Do Spain, does France, not, and it, Spain again with Aaron Sanchez. It, it, it is a good moustache. It, it does not look at all like a porn star at all. <laughs> and <laughs> Sota EY. Hey, this is a family event here. And Sota EY uh, gets that uh, fifth place. Liran Mashlev. Uh, I mean, representing the ICF gets the sixth place. I mean, porn as in P A W N. You know, when you're porn, you're that's right. you oh, belong. Yeah, 100%. That's, right. that's, that's what we interpret it. Uh, so, thank you. A lot of uh, good stuff coming through on our chat line. Uh, thank you to Sergeant Sponge. 
Uh, also, uh, to Sup Junkie Paddleboarding for your very kind comments. Somebody else saying, Michael Kelly saying, keep taking the piss out of Le Nugget de Poulet. <laughs> That's you. I <laughs> know, oh, I think we've got to let that joke go. Uh, is it semis tomorrow, our, one of our... Um, yes. Yes, it is. There are some semis coming up. In fact, let's have a semi now. Yeah, that's let's our do first that. semi-final of the, uh, of the day. Annie Smith in, on your screen from Great Britain. Anna, uh, no, that's Eddie Tolad uh, from Switzerland. We've got uh, Sarah Odera from Italy. Whoa, this is a big race. Here's uh, Marlene Berg from New Zealand. She's had a great week. She she was uh, she had a pretty uh, impressive win. Ooh, mm. doing some yoga, a bit of meditation there. Mary Buchanan. Buchanan, let's go with that. From uh, Great Britain. Here's Katarina Trudlova. She told me to really roll her the R's at the beginning of her name. Kirsty McMillan from Canada. Oh, that doesn't look like <laughs> that was not Kirsty McMillan in that picture. No way. And I'd like to go back and see that again. That was definitely not Kirsty. But it looked like to me 007, was it? He was Trudy <laughs> Lille <laughs> he just from uh, New Zealand. Here's yeah. Polona Puslia from Slovenia. And f in lane uh, number 12, Liron Xia from China. Uh, just uh, Tell to you what. emphasize on the two names we missed, Evlan Siru <laughs> and in lane number one, and Tracy Mook. Now, uh, how, do you, how would you say that last yeah, name from New Zealand? No, it looks French to me. Mm -hmm. so. For those of you watching, from we have two women's 50-plus uh, semifinals coming up right now, followed by four technical men's masters 50-plus coming up right now this so, evening. Oh. So first six go through to the final A. Good start by Oopsie Mary Daisy. Buchanan. Not from oh, yeah. Great Britain, Marlin Berg did have a pretty good start too, as well as uh, Sarah Odera and Edith Talad on the left-hand side. So two starboards, one SIC, one uh, Sonova. Lots and, of carnage. Uh, oh, what's uh, going an on An NSP back there? board. Who is on that NSP? Uh, that is Katerina uh, Trudlova from Chechia. So uh, we have uh, Marlin Berg, who looked very relaxed at the start. I... I, uh, I don't know if she has a nickname, but I'd like to. C I'm going to give her one. It's Ice, as in Iceberg, because she just looked very, very calm at Ice the start cold. line. Oh, Do you like that? A bit that? of a pun, huh? Do you like Coming that? I'm from Australia. Uh, well, she's sitting there in second, I think, at the moment. So uh, that's an, 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 so it's Marie Buchanan, I think, in front. Yes, it is. Marlene Marie Berg. Great Britain in first, Marlene Berg in second from Iceberg, Italy. sitting second. Sarah Odera, the SIC Maori rider in third from Italy. Eddie Tolad from Switzerland on the Sonova in fourth. Top I six goes straight through. There is no best times for this. It's just top six. That is all that will be taken into account. So I'm pretty sure it is the Czech athlete, Katerina Trudlova. Uh, behind along with Kirsty McMillan from Canada. So our top six is pretty Look well at, identified uh, now. Marlene, Let's see. Ber Marlene Berg with her signature style match that you spotted earlier on today, just crouching. I saw uh, that this morning. Oh, yeah. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Hidden Dragon. Uh, approach to the, uh, to the turns. It works for her, though. Everybody's going super wide, though, huh? They're all, and they're all taking it very easy. But uh, and Sarah I think Odera might even lose her third place there. Whoopsie daisy. Tonight. Oh, my goodness. No time for sunbathing. Uh, you got to give it to these females. They were all racing at 9 a.m. this morning. And they, you know, it's not easy for an athlete to be prepared for a race in the morning and then have to uh, wait six, seven hours uh, in this hot heat to decide when they're going to race again and, and uh, how to keep their energy right. They don't get a full day's rest. It's, it's a half day of doing something. Thank goodness, though, that they are, or most of them are staying in the hotel across the road. So they've been able to go back, have a maybe a little sneaky, a sneaky siesta in the middle of the day and then come back. Uh, this afternoon, maybe they get one of uh, the special uh, Machu Estier massages that he's been getting every afternoon to That's keep right. his mind focused. Now, Marie Buchanan, I believe this is her first year in the 50 plus. In the 50 plus, yes. So uh, she'd be one of the youngest paddlers out there, which uh, gives her probably a little bit of an advantage. But look at the oh, look at that oh, crouching yes. tiger. Look at that. I like wow. that. Then she crouching pounces. Crouching tiger crossbow. It's like a, a, a tightly a tightly coiled spring. And uh, talking about Mary Buch Buchanan, she uh, she was also on the podium in her last year. She won the division uh, as well. So she won the long distance race, I think. Remember in last uh, year? in uh, G in Gdynia, pretty certain. Let me just check my notes, please. I, 
I've got a feeling she may have been the athlete who threw a paddle in the in the uh, air and then did a face plant on the sand, but I can't remember. There was somebody there. Anyway, it's very she strong. Was, she was second in the technical race, though. That's uh, probably the the one thing to remember today. Uh, behind Susan Lea, that was the technical race in the plus 40 women. So yes, and and that's her favorite event uh, out of uh, out of them all. Uh, she did well in the sprints this week. But technical racing is uh, really our thing. So she's had a couple as of big she, days. Uh, she's as had you can see. Yeah, big days of racing. So Marie Buchanan or Buchanan, if you like to call her that, will cry. And look at that. She's such a la lovely lady. Carries a board up. A oh, no, they've oh, got to do it. Of course. Oh, of my course. goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. We Welcome forgot. Welcome <laughs> to the show, everybody. We talked about how you have to do two laps, and now you have seen it. Oh. This is a thousand meter race coming up right here. They all finished their first lap. They are not done. The they are going for round number two. Commentators so asleep at the wheel there. <laughs> Just forgot that they had to do another lap. But uh, luckily the athletes didn't. So Marie Buchanan in front, the iceberg and from New Zealand is Marie sitting Buchanan second. Marie Buchanan won the long distance in, last in year in the in the in Gardenia yeah. in the plus forty Four. division. Yeah. So. I think she's going to do well in this 50-plus uh, women's division. You can see of course she's uh, only start starting getting to get started. Starting to get spaced out. You got at least a, a 10 board length. It's uh, not a yeah uh, between first, second, second, and third, and then a little bit of a show there with fourth, fifth, sixth. The the last six moved to final B. So there's a final A that these uh, women will do tomorrow, and then there, there's a final B. So the top six are moving to final A. The last six are moving to final B tomorrow. It's not a uh, it's not a huge portage, is it, Rob? Like it's probably about six steps. Six I reckon. stepper. But gee, there could be a lot of damage six done up, in this. Six down. Six up, six down. Uh, not a lot of damage. Although I tell you what, that's if fourteen we steps if you have a calculator. So, well, I think it's twelve <laughs> actually. <laughs> I think so. Anyway. Yeah, you Americans. Well, uh, let me check that math. No, you just make is that in kilometers? You just make up your own stuff, you Americans. You have done all along. You butcher the English language. You put Zs in where there should be Ss. It's an absolute joke. Uh, look at our front two paddlers, though. Now look at that style. Oh, we love that, don't we? The kitties at home. I, mean, I think I might try that tomorrow. Uh, Kitty, it's pretty efficient. Yeah, kitties at home watching. You could do far worse than doing that crouching style. Why? Come on, boys. You've both been out on the paddle boards. Why would she do that? Is it just for stability? Do you think? Or Ooh. Sarah, there. I, I, I think uh, uh, she's probably trying to pioneer a slightly new version of the cross bio turn. Okay. No, so like there, will be clinic, there will be clinics on it. Next month. So she's like a revolutionary leader. Is she's a bit like uh, Che Guevara, the Che Guevara of the uh, the world stand-up paddling community. It works for her though, doesn't it? I mean, she's looking very comfortable in second. Look at Mari Buchanan. You say Mari, I'm going to say Marie. You say Buchanan, I'm going to say Buchanan. So I'm going to go with <laughs> Marie Buchanan. You go with Mari Buchanan. And people at home are going to think there's two paddlers out there. I was going to say, I can't even say it the other way. Yeah. It's the French way. It's the French way. Maybe I can uh, finish with a French accent all the way uh, ah. to tomorrow. <laughs> so Buchanan is comfortably in front. It is a one-kilometer race, the semi-final. Sitting, look at that. I'm loving that. I'm l the Che Guevara style. Viva la revolution. We've so sort of lost Britain track. Uh, at the, front. the last we saw, was it still Sarah Odera sitting third? I think it was, wasn't Sarah it? Sarah Odera was in was third it, on the Where SSC was Eddie Talud? Was she there? Was Eddie Talud up there Eddie in the top? Eddie Talad in uh, fourth. Talad, yep. She was fifth, was she? Fourth. Fourth, yeah, okay. Eddie Talad was fourth. Last time we checked, anyway. Uh, and fifth was, uh, was it the Czech? Uh, where's Kirsty McMillan? Uh, I thought uh, she Katarina might be up there. Turgrova was in fifth. Let's, uh, let's have a look here as we get towards the finish line. Marie Buchanan, though, no doubt she, she's in very good form. She's going to take a stack of beating tomorrow. It's the spring chicken in the 50-plus age group, having just moved there from uh, the 40-plus last year. Oh, a little bit of a wobble, but she's under control. Look at that. Good little move there off the board. Good job. Yep. M Marie. 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 Marie Buchanan. From Great Britain. Please go to the left, sign some autographs. If you could uh, also do a quick test, there you go. Oh, hang on. 
So Don't we've got our that. very, very first uh, time, reference time in uh, over two laps. 7.55. Oh, goodness me, we're going to be underway straight away, are we? British athletes. And already moving on to uh, semi-final number two. We don't uh, know who three, four, and five, and six were, but they are back there. They're coming in, and it looks like they're really moving. They're trying to get all these races in today. A message from uh, Bill Kitty. Bill Kitty says, please don't eat shark. I'm with you, Bill Kitty. Don't eat shark, no matter what they tell you. And if you're going out at nighttime, I would prefer you eat chicken nuggets than shark. Uh, even though we've been saying that chicken nuggets is something you don't eat when you're in Thailand, I would prefer you eat that than shark. All right, Rob? I'm okay We're with ready that. for semi-final number two. Underway now with Emmanuel Marco on the uh, 45 Pro Board. Who's got the best start? I think it is the Korean Yungmi Kim on the starboard in front. I recognize Penny Tsautu from Greece on the left-hand side. So Greece. it is Korea and Greece in front. And Natalia Fon, I think, is up there as well. Uh, on the, uh, the left-hand side of the screen, is it, um, Matthew? I think that's Natalia coming across there. Natalia Fon, uh, I think that's Wendy Tillett. No, no, not there, in front Canada. there, coming into... Anyway, yeah, she, we'll, we'll uh, get she is in the mix for sure, but we'll probably not in the top five. Is that, or unless you're talking about the son of our rider on the no, right no, hand no, side? No, 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 I'm talking about on the left hand. We'll get some numbers in a moment. Oh, okay, oh, so the Korean. Oh. In first, the Greek in second, we have uh, one paddler we need to identify on the Sonova there. Looks yeah. like Wendy with Tell a black hat. In, a, in a fourth. Uh, oh, no, no, she's definitely in a fourth. Goes down. You're welcome, Wendy. You can pay me for that later. <laughs> <laughs> who was that that took a step? Now in fifth place. So who is that paddler in that third I right think now? That, I think that's, isn't that uh, Natalia? Let's have a look. Uh, or is it Christina Funk maybe from uh, Germany? Let's... Uh, oh no, it's our Italian uh, Occhio Grosso is uh, Anna Occhio according Grosso. to our, G, our GPS. Okay, so Anna Occhio Grosso, who was in uh, sec who arrived in second yesterday in the long distance, behind. Get out of the way, Bowie. Marie Buchanan. Ooh, oh, okay. Penny's gone in. I could see that coming. I don't recognize Anna Occhio Grosso, though. I have to say. Is oh, it, and oh her? no, She's bottled up. This is how. This is becoming a little bit of a. A little bit of a okay, mess Okay, big there, changing of the guards right here. Yeah, they're all right now, though. They've, um, tell you what, there's some athletes who are finding it very tricky getting around this boy. I say boy, you say buoy. What do you, you say? Buoy. buoy. You both say buoy. If mm. we got Michael Booth in here, we could say can. You could say can. He calls it a can. Uh, most Australians call it a boy. <laughs> so just like the previous semi-final, top six go to final A. And the last six go to final B. It's the Korean in front on the Starboard All-Star. We uh, Who is on in second? I don't think that's Anna Okio Grosso, gentlemen. I think Anna is on a Starboard. So if, you could, if we could spot that uh, bib number, that would be, be amazing. 832? 832, maybe? You reckon uh, the Thai paddler, you think, might be sitting second? That's a big call. Oh! Let's, uh, Maybe the Thai paddler let Wasana. Are we going to see it? Nope. So uh, it is the Korean in front, though, isn't it? Uh, no doubt about zero. her. Yongmi Kim is in front. Yep. Fun. Yeah, That's it is, Natalia. I said that. that well, I did yeah. say that, didn't I, when I was in you? Well, you also said Anna Kyogro, so you no, said, they're, you said they're, all they're, She's names. gone in anyway. <laughs> I think it is Natalia Fon. She's, she's gone in. Penny Sauto now moved back up. I think Wendy Tillard Penny's is there as well. Um, We've got Emmanuel Marco now in fifth traffic. place, oh. trying to uh, stay on the inside as close as possible to that green buoy. Only uh, six of these girls are going through. How many are they? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there were. There might have been seven. I tell you what, gentlemen, uh, I would not like to be in that big group there coming up to the twelve-step portage because. They're all going to try and get around that little space on the sand at once, and it's going to be very, very interesting. Well, we thought we, s we thought we saw thinning out in the beginning, and then everybody crashed on that yep. second buoy turn. Yep. And uh, now everybody's back to back to the beginning, keeping it tight. So Yumi Kim, the uh, the new uh, sprint world champion, right, in the 50 plus women division, the Korean at the front. So uh, Yongmi Kim we're coming, coming down now to the uh, 
to the first to the one and only portage let's watch the portage style here there we go 500 meters down 500 oh. to go probably needs to be a little bit quick oh she's walking okay she's All walking right. around she's the portage uh, she's this taking a relaxed approach for being in first place right now. Walking on the beach. Very relaxed yeah. approach. Jump 10, Pattaya is there Thailand. A, maybe there's a speed limit there. You're not allowed to run. Uh, you've just got to walk because... Uh, it leaves the opportunity open for some individuals. Send uh, show to uh, Wendy Tillett. Oh, Top what's three. Natalia Fon there? Well, she's four, I don't know what she's happened there. That get, might have winded One, herself two, when she dived onto three, the board. Four, five, six, seven. So seven... Girl, seven women are in on the water right now. Only six of them can make it through to final A. So Who is it going to be? That's Oshia Grosso on the right there. Oshia the right Grosso of the, for of the, sure of the on screen. the, uh, so the tall she Italian. Is up there challenging now for, tr I think she's going to come up and challenge for second. So Oshia Grosso on the right hand side on the starboard. The tall, uh, dark haired athlete is now in third place. We've got Wendy Tillett from Montreal, Canada uh, on the left hand side on the Sonova. Who have we got in fifth? I think that's uh, uh, Chinese that athletes. Uh, I think that's Shan Fu. Uh, mm. uh, that we have two uh, Chinese athletes, actually. No, I don't think it is. Uh, so, oh, God. It's not Maria Williams, is it? I, it's not the New Zealander. We've got Manuel Emmanuel Macron in sixth right now. Uh, next to Natalia Fon, we need to identify who is in fifth place who? right uh, now. No, so the GPS is telling who? us it is who? No, no, it's Ma it's so who? Chan Fu Hu, Chan Fu Hu, the yeah, no, Chinese. Oh, sorry. Who is it? It's who? It's who? Or oh, we could go on, on for like ten who minutes. Who's uh, on first? On that one. Who's Ross. on first? But who's on? F <laughs> who's on fifth? Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, Penny Tao Tu. It's been a long day. The. Uh, Oh, what's happened to our career? While well, we're trying athletes. to work out how who was fifth, there's been a big change at the... Uh, look at this. This is... It's like if you're watching at home, this is not slow motion. This is actually athletes taking it very carefully, and so they should. Conservative. So Conservative is the word. Well, rightly so, too, because we've seen a few top athletes going in for a swim here. Or Are you allowed to handle the uh, boy? Yeah, why not? Just you know, push it out of your way. I suppose that's allowed. Penitso to the in this Greek. sport, I think it's legal. Well, we saw Connor Baxter uh, you, uh, do the butt, the butt put, his, put his butt cheeks on the uh, on the boy as he went past, and nobody said that was against the law. If you can put your butt cheeks on there, you should be able to put your hand on there. We saw a paddler earlier on today just do a full-on face plant into the boy. Remember that? Just did a run up, sort of did a run up, and then leapt into it head first. It was <laughs> just he had something against that boy. He just yeah. really wanted to take it out, get out of my way. So Penny Souto, look at that. It's pretty rough, isn't it? She's not looking. Look how impressive it is that uh, two through two, oh, yeah, three, four, get five, out six, of my way. Get out of my way. all together here after uh, already doing one lap. It's pretty impressive how tight they're keeping it right now. Penny Tautu in first, Chan Fu Hu in second, Anna Okyogrosso in third. We had quite a, a lot of movers and shakers in this. Uh, you reckon that's Hu in second now, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's Kim in second. What are you talking about? No, what? no, it is, it is Hu. Well, she was fifth it before, so she's moved. Looks, she's no, no, oh, that's, yeah. That's okay. Well, she's had a very right good second so lap. So what there. happened to the Korean? That's well, that's good, what I'm wondering. Uh, good question. That's Anna Okyogrosso, though, in third. We've got uh, Natalie Fon in uh, fourth. fourth. And there's the Korean Woo! there. There's the there's Korean. Korean. Young Mi uh, Kim. Kim there. Just and then Wendy Tillett and then Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Macron is going to have to uh, be a little bit more aggressive if she wants to be. Okay, this is it. This is their sprint to the finish. Let's see what they can do. Well, yeah, only set. six women will make it through to uh, the next round, which is the final A. Uh, and the uh, six remaining ones will move I, to I'd final B. I'd like to see B. what number three, four, five, and six are doing no, right I would now. Let's stick, let's stick with the top six here, folks. Let's not uh, cross down to the next race just yet. We want to see who the top six are to go through to the next round. No doubt about our leader. Look at that. Penny Sauto, she had a swim early on in the race, and she's back out there, and she's going to be the first one to cross the finish line. Who will fill the other five placings, though, to go into tomorrow's final and to race not only for gold, but to also race to become a 2023 International Canoe Federation stand-up paddling technical world champion? Penny Sautu is first. She is through. Who Great is second? Finish. 808. No, who is second? I told you, who is second? Oh, God, that's well, in fact, she's third. Who is second? Maybe. It's who? 
Yeah, who? We can't see now. We've got the wrong angle, unfortunately, for the uh, the finish. 8 two, seven third, there. Ana Occhio Grosso, um, who was uh, second yesterday, is uh, finishing third. Uh, I think Emmanuel Marcon's got it. Wow. Did, did she get through? Here we go. I think she did. Mar uh, yes, Marcon got, got through Kim, in fifth. Yung Mi Kim. Kim, oh, heartbreak there for Wendy Tillett. Just Ooh. by point zero one of a second, if that's correct. Just missing the cut. Wow. She's going to miss the final pie, point zero one. Top five went forward. Top, uh, six. top six. Top six, six. No, go to it. final A. Was she six? I thought she was six. fifth. Oh, anyway, let's just wait for confirmation there because we have absolutely, people sitting at home, I think they're getting a pretty good idea. We have no idea what we're talking about. So Buchanan, Iceberg, Odera, Trilova, Tulu, and... Tracy Mook. We're going to say Mook, Matthew. Are you going to go with that for uh, Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. And yes, let me correct myself. Uh, Ochan, the, the boss, the big boss of SUP at the ICF, did correct me when I called Jung Mi Kim the, uh, yeah. the world champion in the sprints. No, it was Penny Tautu. Yes. Indeed, Jung Mi Kim was second. Jung Mi Kim, she won the, uh, the inflatable race yesterday. Oh, so here's some results from earlier on. Uh, look at that there. Ole Schwartz getting in on a best time, which she'd be pretty happy about. Michael Booth up there second. Uh, it's uh, the Peruvian Prince uh, finishing ahead of James Bond there and Ty Judson third. Just the top five going through there. Johnny Hagen, uh, Majdan from Poland, Grossop Grimm. And Yongjong Park sneaking through in fifth position in that men's heat. The polar bear, Christian Anderson. Daniel Hasulio second, uh, Tommy Lakato, Zinulu, and Herman Huslane does sneak through in fifth position to make the semi finals. Nui Guru, Blue Yua, David Alpino, Nikki, Nico Vale, Dongya Zhang, Jang from Korea as well. Rai Taguchi, Clement Colmar, David Leo, Faden Duka, Paralo Marconi, and on a fast time, Jeremy Talud gets through on a fast time into tomorrow's semi-final. Ludovic Talud is through, Antonio uh, Suris, Honchan Zeng, Korobov. Oh, Vadim Korobov, he went for a swim and he's managed to get through uh, in fifth position to tomorrow's semi final. And there we have Connor Baxter, Arthur Arakin, Manuel Hoyella, Edwin Cornier, Pesca. Oh, big missing out there on the bottom, uh, Matthew. Yeah. Ricardo Haverschmidt missing Haber out. Schmidt from the Netherlands, the companion of Petro and Avan Malsen. Harry Tenorio also making through. Antonio Morillo, Tituan Puyo, Aaron Sanchez, Sota Iwai from Japan. Did Liron Maslev make ma it yes, through? Yes, he did. He made it through on the best time. Uh, the on ACF, Liron Maslev. And we've got four races left today, four semi finals in the 50 plus men's. We're going to start with. Uh, and let me just, Matthew, before you introduce everybody, uh, for the men, it's only top three go through. So only the top three will go if straight through question, to the final. Well, the answer is yes. Yeah. Top three go it's not to a question, uh, it's a fact, final my A. It's a fact. Four to six go to final B, and the rest are out. So there is a chance to still uh, to still do two races for uh, for some of these athletes. We've got Jürgen Kress from uh, Germany. We've got Tomohiro Kyuchi from uh, Japan. <laughs> So just sup junkie paddleboarding. Hey Kochi guys, Matsumoto from uh, Japan. You let me read this out. Hey guys, I'm loving the chat this morning, but also the commentary. Great stuff. Hashtag chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be my nickname. Huge from shout now. out to uh, the goat boater. That's my wife there, like Wiley paddleboarding, and uh, apparently all three of us are doing decently together. Well, that is your wife though. She's biased. All right, that's so true. Hundred percent. <laughs> Meanwhile, some Thanks, top honey. names in. Uh, on your screens with uh, Mark Forrester. We saw Peter Weider, the two-time 2023 uh, Ooh, world champion. The white ghost. Jun Shimamoto is also here. We saw Olivier Garyu, Chris Stinger, Julio Perez, and uh, at the beginning, Takeshi Origi from Japan and Lars Mortensen from Denmark. Of course, the 
three favorites in this one. I mean, well, if we uh, Vida, if I the mean, hierarchy gets respected, that would be Peter Weidert, um, Olivier uh, Garou, Mark Forrester, potentially Olivier Garou, who had a good run, but he still has to uh, to prove to the world that is a uh, is a podium uh, candidate. Julio Perez, maybe on uh, the world scene. Yeah, it's going to be a good race. There's only three. There's only going to be three of these paddlers. We'll get through David Crosby, of course, there from Crosby Steels Nash and Young. Uh, Looking good. I, uh, I shouldn't keep saying that because unfortunately we lost David Crosby this year. He passed away. It was a great, uh, it was a very sad moment for world music. He used to write this great column for Rolling Stone magazine. You should uh, go back and have a look at it. He's a uh, very, very funny man. Had great advice, had great tips for the world. And here he is paddling today in a final, a semi final of uh, the men's 50 plus. You can see the ITOs right now. They're checking. Make sure. Uh Every one of these paddlers are standing behind the line. Their so nose of their board can be in front. There is a line there. You can't what, see it very what well. What is that line made out of? What is that? Uh, made? Somebody's foot. It's they a drug their heel across the sand. So it's not really very official. And it's not like a, an electronic eye there that will tell you if you've got your foot it's over the line. It's a little bit as curvy. But they've done a pretty good job. And, that's, uh, and they're doing really good. They're even checking to make sure everybody's leashes are on as they're walking yep. by and make sure yep. they have the appropriate safety equipment today like uh, Mark Forrester may have oh little and sneaky the man move to watch there. in the middle of your screen oh he's not actually having uh, the best of the starts oopsie daisy has been divided on the uh, red and uh, black board at the back now Jürgen Ma Kress. Uh, Mark Forrester is having a great Easy, start from Barcelona start. Spain on the right hand side of your screen yeah I think it was Jürgen Kress from Germany who uh, put the board down then went to jump on and missed the board that's a rookie error. Don't, you don't expect to see that too often, but he's on the up and at him now, trying to catch up with the rest of the field. Don't forget, it's two laps, folks. And, and as we saw with Penny Sato in the race before, you can have a stack, but then you can still get up and you can go on and uh, claim the bickies at right. the end. Peter Weidert back in the game in second position now with a, a great start by the man who taught me how to paddle, Mark Forrester, up in the front from Barcelona. But Peter Weidert now pushing hard to uh, after a pretty uh, sketchy start we, uh, in we, second position. We had agreement that you could mention it once a day. I said you could mention <laughs> it once a day. This is the third time you've told us the Mark oh, Forrest story, Put man. Put him enough, in time out. I'll enough stop. already, mate. All right. <laughs> He's embarrassed. He came up to me last night. Okay, and said, they're getting <laughs> bottled up at this buoy whoa, right here. Oh, is that Mark Forrest? Is, is he trying to do a face plant? They talked to the buoy and the buoy talked back. <laughs> <laughs> it's saying, you okay. feel free to proceed. I think we've got Kochi Matsumoto. Oh, in look at this three. mess right here. Kochi Matsu Matsumoto in third position from Japan. This is what we call rubbing his race in right here. It's Julio Perez uh, from Spain stuck at the buoy right now. But Mark Forrester, who's managed to get a, s a quick glimpse on, the, on his right hand side, uh, has got a good lead for himself. Peter Weidert is just uh, cruising now next to him after a pretty, pretty poor start huh, by the uh, two time. 2023 world champion in the sprints and in the long distance. Peter Violet is uh, going for a possible win tomorrow, but for that he will have to make sure that he gets his qualification to the uh, final A, to the A final. He's in second place right now. I mean, the way he's paddling at the moment, you would not want to bet against him. He was so good in the sprint. Uh, said yesterday he wasn't expecting to win the distance race. It wasn't uh, it wasn't his main focus this week, but he came out and won the gold anyway. And now he's uh, he's trying to. There's a couple of athletes, aren't there, boys, who are trying to bring up three gold medals tomorrow. Noe Guru is one of them, and uh, Ma and uh, 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 Peter Vaidart is the other. And talking about the Garyus, here is uh, Olivier Garyu. So Garyu father in fourth place. Just outside of the uh, the third, the three uh, athlete bunch who uh, are going to make it through to your final A. There's another lap coming up, though. We are just about to finish uh, lap number one in this first semi-final. Peter Weidert now at the front on the light board corp, the uh, the holo board from uh, Germany. And why is Mark Forrest just? stopping paddling right now i think he probably uh, knows that there's no need to bust a boiler here well there's still another lap to go so yeah he's got uh, plenty of time and he knows there's a big distance between these two paddlers these three paddlers 
and the rest of the field. They would have done their maths, they would have done a quick count, double checked it, pulled out the calculator, worked out there's only three of them in this group and the uh, top three will all go through. So nice, of nice aggressive turns for all three of those guys right there, looking good. So Germany, Spain and Japan with Koichi Matsumoto in third place right now. Olivier Gariou from New Caledonia, France in fourth. What a slow uh, way to get on, uh, on his border for Olivier. Uh, in fourth plate right now, it's going to be tough for him oh. to, uh, to grab <laughs> one of those three uh, advancing spots at the front. I there's nothing better. What did well, you see, Ross? I just saw, uh, I think it was the athlete in fifth position, uh, went, uh, got up on the right-hand side of the board, fell off on the left-hand side of the board. Uh, look, I just, you know, it's my sixth sense of humour. I like seeing people <laughs> falling off things. <laughs> so Exploring all sides of his board yep. today. But he, he's back there now. He's, uh, he's on track. But look at this man in front. I mean, how good is he paddling this week? It's ridiculous, actually. It's probably against the law. I need to check the laws of stand-up paddling if you are allowed to paddle this well in every <laughs> discipline because <laughs> he is absolutely And this smashing. is the, uh, Peter Weider's second year in the 50-plus division. So he's only starting in that category, really. Peter Weider from Germany. Mark Fraster, Barcelona, Spain. Woo! Ooh, almost uh, takes a dive there, but nice recovery by the Catalan Matsumoto in from Japan in third. Let's see if Olivier Gaiu manages to uh, give a little push in order to uh, push. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, that you certainly is not going to uh, help him. He, Looking uh, for sharks. Yeah. Getting tired, Olivier Gaillou. I think he, no, I think he just did that for the camera, just showing everyone he's got a bit of style. In the fourth place, I think we have uh, Julio. No, it's not. Uh, seven, zero, six. Seven, zero, six. Yeah, he's been to, uh, Tomohiro Kyuchi. He's Tomohiro been shunted Kyuchi. out of the way though by Chris Stinger from uh, Stringer from Canada, who's moved now into uh, fifth place, I think. Because uh, don't forget, it's top three to final A. Then the next three placings four to six will go into final B. So uh, look, a few of these lads, uh, they they know they're not going to get in the A final, but. They've come a long way, and I'm sure they'd want to have another race tomorrow so they can uh, get themselves into the B final tomorrow. Does mean, though, that they'll probably have to have an early night tonight. Uh, just take it easy, maybe go back to the hotel room, watch a movie, uh, maybe just go onto the Total Sup web page, read us some uh, really interesting articles and some uh, not so interesting articles. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy a Chang and yep. some Shark. Yep, exactly. That's uh, what they'd be doing tonight to prepare for the Whoa, is that finals that's tomorrow. That's boat speed. I thought that was the average speed, 10.1. That was <laughs> that was pretty fast. Uh, although although he's definitely capable of uh, reaching that speed on a Peter Weidert. The giant from Germany is finishing his uh, two-lap semi-final as the uh, as the first semi-final in the 50 plus men so one out of four underway with peter weidert finishing his race in style crossing the line peter weidert two-time world champion this week and clearly now one of the favorites for the technical race mark forrester second from spain good job mark and norda buena that's a qualification for the a final and in third it is the Japanese Koichi Matsumoto from Japan these three are will be in the A final tomorrow well I don't know just watching that race there uh, I can any I don't know if anybody can can beat Peter Vidart, the way he's paddling at the moment. I'm just looking in this in this next field here. I mean, it's a good field, but there's nobody in that field, in this field, and we've just been introduced to them now. Norbert Hoddle didn't have the best of uh, heat races, but... Uh, yeah, he was struggling with his balance his, on yeah, the sun yeah, on board uh, yeah. earlier on, uh, Norbert Hoddle. Maybe he's changed his, uh, his width. We've got Chris Dixon from, uh, from New Zealand. We saw Gabor Zabo from Hungary. Here's uh, Holger Astenfluk. A former surfer. Looks mean. Ooh, yeah, he does look mean. Yeah, oh, and there is uh, the Ma there's Matthew Astier body double. <laughs> uh, there. 
<laughs> Daniele Kearney actually. That's the Richard Porras, by the way, from the. He Netherlands. looked like uh, if we if we if we could go back and have another look at. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we can't. Richard that was Proust. Bart Bart, was that Bart? The legend. Yeah. yeah. The ultra long distance racer Johan Skarkog from uh, Sweden. We also miss Daniele Kearney from Italy. Here's a Wei Hua Peng from. Uh, China, in Simon Trudel Perrault. I challenge you guys yeah. to actually pronounce his, yeah, well I just his call French him, name, uh, right? I, he comes I think from you did uh, great. Montreal, Canada. I just call him the inspector, Inspector Perrault. And Wa Jiang. Oh, are we missing a paddler? No, I think Wa Jiang Zhang. Uh, is he uh, off of the screen? I tell you uh, what, there's a few boys in this uh, race who would not look out of place as villains in a James Bond movie. Uh, there's a few. In fact, I think a few of them may have come from James Bond movies. I'm particularly thinking of you, uh, Richard Proust. I think you would look uh, very good in a uh, James Bond as a villain, not as a hero. He'd definitely be a villain for sure. You know what? We might have two um, two Australians and two uh, Dutch at the front of this race. When I look, at obviously Daniel Ekani is uh, could be in the mix, as well as Johan Skarkog from Sweden. But I have a feeling that uh, Holger Hasenflug and Norbert Hodel have got a few tricks up their sleeves. Here they uh, go. Both on Sonova. Uh, Whoa, up and down. Who's up got and the down. best start, though? Yeah. One, two, Daniel three Daniel Kenny is start. starting well. Holger Hasenflug on the Sonova <laughs> is starting well, as well as Simon Trudel Perro from uh, Canada. Daniel Kenny, a bit stuck in the middle there between uh, the Austrian and the Canadian. Uh, but we Ooh. have a Norbert Hodel, I think, off our screen on the left-hand side, uh, who had a pretty good start too. Yeah, but just oh, oh that's right. him falling down after a pretty good start. Norbert Hodel struggling with his balance on that board. He did it. Oh, and somebody else has gone in as well. It's What's happening here, lads? Yeah. Five swimming already before Focus the first boys. buoy. Focus, boys! Come on! Now pushing hard. It is uh, Holger Hassenflug from uh, Austria. Next to Simon uh, Trudel Perro from Canada. So two sons of the front, actually three with Daniele Cani from Italy. Who have we got in four? Oh, the, the top three really are what? Uh, Bartis Vart is not far. He's not far from Daniele Cani, actually shoulder to shoulder with the Italian. But at the front, it is the Canadian Simon Trudel Perro. This is a little oh. short. Uh, this is a little short distance for Bart. He's used to you know five thousand you know <laughs> mile <laughs> races. You reckon he'll just be getting warmed up by the finish, do you? Yeah, barely. Look at that. Is that legal? Deep, deep ocean is, is board. Are you allowed to do the, the one, two, three? I guess that's Chris Dixon five, from New Zealand. We're not counting. Okay. Norbert, hold five on. Where strokes. is this guy going? Richard Proust. Great move there by the Dutchman. Well, he yeah. they're all caught up on each other. Richard Proust went for a swim at the start. He did the old jump on the up one side, fall off the other side trick move at the start. But he's managed to sneak his way up now into sixth position. Uh, so he is uh, going along very nicely, just working his way through the field. It's a marathon, not a sprint, boys. But it's not even a marathon, really. But it is a two-lap race. So Richard Proust there... For those of you watching, uh, one of the rules in stand-up paddleboarding is you cannot paddle more than five strokes while on your knees or while not on your feet would be better stated or advance your position. Uh, so that's something that all right. those judges are watching for carefully and well, keeping you helped them on. out. You helped them out there, Rob, uh, with some very useful counting, uh, which, I was, that five. which I was quite impressed for an American. You got to five without uh, having to pause and check your fingers. Right? Yep. I was, uh, I was using my toes. <laughs> Yeah, but here we go. Look at that. There's a bit of a traffic jam there coming so around. Kenny Ooh. in second, now in third. I think it is uh, Chris Dixon on the deep ocean board. It's 712. Yes, in third place. Currently, virtually through to a final is Chris Dixon. Is this not the same Chris Dixon that uh, made skipper move. the America's Cup, vic America's Cup boat to victory for New Zealand, was it, many years ago? Do you remember that? Gee, lads, do you know what I'm... That's just don't you both look at me. We're going to need a researcher. Don't both look at me like I've made something up here. Team. 
If our viewers at home can tell us, uh, um, it's not the same Chris Dixon, but I'm pretty certain it was Chris Dixon. That name rings a bell. Well, Chris and Dixon are two pretty familiar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I, what I'm saying is I think he was uh, a <laughs> skipper of a New Zealand boat that maybe won the America's Cup. But uh, You never know what might what pop in a Ross right. set. Just you know it's look, there's a, there's a lot of vacant yeah. space up there and things Google just bounce. Google can answer anything. Well, maybe someone on the YouTube uh, yeah. channel yeah, of they'll Planet Canoe can tell okay, us. Okay, these boys are about to make their portage here, all 12 steps up and down. Simon Trudel Perro still in the lead, looking strong. There we go. Well smooth, done. That's actually turn. a Taiga, Taiga uh, board um, uh, ambassador who he cannot, he couldn't travel from Canada with his Taiga board, which is a Canadian brand. Is that because he wrote on the customs form that he was bringing a Taiga into yeah. Thailand and they said, <laughs> they said no, no, you're not. not. It's not Taiga, but Taiga. How do you spell it? As in uh, the wood, the forest, you know. Yeah, I know, I know, but how do you spell it? T I G A T A. T A I G A. T E A T E T A I G A. Spelling lesson for all you out there. So anyway, hey, I think uh, we just had somebody go down. There was Bart. Is that Bart? That is Richard Prost. No, actually. Bart's in number uh, three. But he's from uh, the Netherlands. Oh, and so. no, someone else has gone down as well in the back there. What's happening, lads? Lots of swimming. Keep focused. Legs are getting Daniel tired Kenny at the end of the now day here. On the inside, so it is. Montreal, well, Canada versus Italy at the front. We've got Bartis Vart okay. in third place right Lads, now. Lads, Vinny Brody and Juanita Anderson have both said, yes, that is Chris Dixon who sailed the America's Cup. No way. This right. is him. This is the wow. one. Legend. Oh, you just go there. Just go there. Hug him. Steel I mean, trap. This, this, man is a, this man is, is a sailing legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Wow. <sighs> well, good job out there, Chris. Was put it, and was put it Ross. Way to be multidisciplinary. I thought that was just you showing up. I'm embarrassed, actually, that we didn't know that beforehand. Actually, that has exposed our shortcomings in our uh, yeah. preparation for this event. But, I mean, you guys don't know this, but I'm telling you, believe me. I, he, I do he believe is, you got He is like a legend in world sailing. We believe you at least 40%. Yeah. Here's another legend, Bartis Vart, in third place right now, but going way too wide on that turn. And someone's going to take advantage of that. That's the uh, son of a board. Who is that in... Uh, in f uh, that's Holger Hasten Flug, and uh, now in uh, in third, behind uh, Daniele Cani. You keep commentating, boys. I'm going to do some research right now. Yeah, go look up America's Cup. So Daniele Cani now in the lead, the Italian on the Sonova, another Sonova at the front. That is Simon Trudel Perro from. Montreal, Canada. We've got in third place, or we had a few minutes ago, Bart de Zwart, the uh, Dutch ultra long distance uh, uh, race legend, who, uh, who's, who's taken part in pretty much every single ultra long distance race on, on the planet. Bart and is some something, pretty gruesome something ones. amazing for Starboard that he's done. Not only that, but he plays a huge role in all of Starboard's designs as well, and uh, all those ultra long distance racings. And now in third, it is Holger Hastenflug from Austria. He had a pretty good start, but uh, was a bit wobbly on those buoy turns. Uh, lost a bit of ground. He's back in third place. Bart de Zwart in fourth. Another Dutchman in fifth. That is uh, Richard Oh, Post. looks like Bart might have went down, I think. I think, I think Bart might have took a swing. Oh, there's definitely someone stuck right in front. Here's uh, Chris Dixon, the sailing uh, legend. According to, uh, well, to Ross. Mm. Yeah. Uh, don't know. <laughs> Chris Dixon is definitely the sailing legend. Uh, he, went to the, he went to the Sydney Olympics for We're New Zealand. We're just not sure if this is that, Chris Dixon. And he also sailed in uh, several America's Cups as well. Is he 50 plus? Here yeah, comes yeah, the finish. He, he was, he's 62. He's 62, Chris Dixon. Daniele Cani, though. All right, Whoa. look at that, throwing his paddle. Isn't He's excited. Isn't he meant to uh, actually cross the line with his paddle in his hand? Uh, oh, a little bit no. debatable. I think he, his foot got right over the line. We'll get, oh, don't tell me. Whoa. The He's technical officials are definitely, uh, you know, eyeing that Hoi one. Hoi does he have to carry his paddle over the finish line? Oh, Hoi Shan's nodding. I think he had it. I, I think, think his it. foot might have just crossed. Oh, no. The question is, where is the official finish so line? So, Simon Trudel Perro is through... We have Richard Prost, Bart de Zwart, and Norbert Hodel in Final B, I guess. 
And uh, coming up, wow, this is going fast. Two races left today. Two races left today. Two semifinals and uh, some top names. Ooh, three Frenchmen. One of them being Vincent Guillaume, le coach, with a big French accent. The uh, the uh, international coach who spends a lot of time in uh, in Spain comes from Brittany. But first of all, Ioannis Asik Asimakopoulos from Greece. Christophe Connery, that's a fr another Frenchman, but with the Max last year haircut. Thomas Strabel from Germany. Thomas Strabel, Germany indeed. Jan Sramek from the Czech from Czechia. Gerd Weisner. Like, are these yeah. seriously? Are these all extras from a James Bond movie? They're all <laughs> look at them. It's like <laughs> Mister Doctor No, Daniel Pares, <laughs> Vincent Guillaume also has grown a mustache for the month of November. Hello, you know, someone just checking. He's got Arnaud his underpants. Arnaud Ferrelec. So these uh, just these checking uh, he's wearing underpants. I don't know much about <laughs> from France and Vincent Verpillat also from France. A lot of French people in this uh, in this heat. So are young, staying warm. Staying warm. Oh no. No, no, That's no, your buddy, no. Ross Martin Marinov, representing Australia. Here's Mark Johnson, also from Australia. Mark's got his gloves on. He's ready to go. Sure is. Well, see, for Australians, it's quite cold here today. There's a bit of a chill in the air. It's only about 47 degrees. So the favorite, the clear favorite, pre-race favorite in this race is uh, Daniel Pardes. For people who want to know uh, who's running the show there, if you look back uh, two rows back, there's Hoi Shan Kwan in the white shirt there. Look at him, just keeping an eagle eye on things. And now, now he breaks into away. a jog. Look at him move. Get going. Look at that. Look spin. at that running style. Whoa, he Coming looks right ev back. every inch here. an athlete. Oh, Daniel Panis missed the start. Oh, what what boy. happened there? He was oh. watching Hoi Shan Kwan running and That's it was right. amusing. Oh, oh, man. Man. oh, oh no. No. Daniel Panis goes what in front is going of him. On? It is uh, Jan Sramek oh in, uh, in the lead. Gentlemen, seriously. Woo! Jan okay, Sramek, 673, that's him now. Uh, on the left-hand side. It looks like Daniel Pares just missed the, uh, the horn. Vincent Guillaume is, uh, no, is that's Arno uh, Ferelec from France uh, on the right-hand side. At the front, though, it is uh, Jan Sramek on the starboard. Daniel Pares, the clear favorite in this uh, heat, but he missed the start now. Easily, easily back in. Uh, in what was he doing? Well, I think he was. He I think Eating he turned around. He was watching Hoi Shan's running style. Yeah. And he <laughs> was so he was laughing so much. Jacking his leash. <laughs> he didn't realize everyone else had started the race. And he turns around. And he goes, Where is everybody? <laughs> but he did get a good laugh out of the uh, the ho the uh, running style of Hoi Shan Kwan, which did not look anything like. And even with a bobble, he's still back in it. Yep, he's he's such a good paddler, isn't he? he well, of course, he's. Well, that's all forgotten for uh, Daniel Pares, who's. Clearly now in the lead ahead of the athlete from uh, Czechia, uh, Jan Sramek. We've got um, a newcomer ooh, ooh, on the international ooh. scene. That is uh, Arno Ferelec from France. I've actually never met this, uh, this gentleman on, in, uh, in the a French person. race. And Vincent Guillaume in fourth, who, uh, who was fourth yesterday in the, uh, in the long distance. Uh, he needs to be in the top three, though, to qualify. He's seen him coming towards him a couple of times, and he just dives into the shop, pretending he's oh, busy. Oh, there we go. Oh. Another crash. That's uh, Christoph Connery from uh, Chile. You got it, Christoph. Going down and recovering his stance. Uh, he's going to have to push hard. Daniel Pares looking strong there. That's not With bad, is it? a big gap for himself he's and some bumps. He's given them a head start. He's given him a, what, a, a 30 metre head start, maybe? And, I mean, seriously. I just thought, okay, guys, you guys go ahead. I'll just catch, it, yeah, catch up with it's you. Like, it's like doing it in the, in the schoolyard. Okay, I'll give you guys a head start. And then uh, when someone else yells go, I'll try and catch you. And they, they should have given him a lap head start. It wasn't big enough. So currently, virtually through to the A final is Jan Sramek. Arnaud Ferelec, though, from France. Is in three. We're going to have a battle between two Frenchmen for that uh, top three position, synonymous of a qualification for the A final. Vincent Guillaume now making his move on his uh, fellow Frenchman, Arnaud Ferrelec, moving to third position now at the top of your screen, Vincent Guillaume. Top three are going to final A, three through, or four through six are going to final B here today in the men's 50 plus ICF World Championship. I, I mean, I did mention earlier on, uh, could anybody beat P 
Peter Whiteout, but it, of course we forgot, or I forgot, you wouldn't have forgotten Daniel Perez. He will be a, a serious challenge I, for, yeah, for, for Peter Whiteout. Yeah, Daniel Perez is a clear favourite of this race. That's that's what I was. Uh, you think he'd be more? F- you think he'd be a favourite ahead of Peter Whiteout uh, in the final? I, I, from what I've seen so far, I don't think so. But uh, I, I reckon Daniel Perez will be on the podium, probably in second position. We'll but see. We'll see. You would expect uh, Mark Forasser y- could uh, could also make a move on on Daniel Perez at some point. Um, in the in the final, uh, he's through. But uh, clearly, Daniel Perez looking good. Is uh, he's got one last race tomorrow, and then he will be on holidays for two months in Bali, enjoying the for how long? Two months. He's taking a big two break. Two months. Uh, yeah, that sounds terrible. Two is, months uh, in Bali. What? There's a lot can go wrong in that family, time in with Bali. Sonia, his you. wife, <laughs> and yeah. with his young son. Yeah. And uh, so they will. They won't be uh, coming back to uh, to to Spain. To Alicante after after this event, they will go straight to uh, to Bali. Fair enough, well deserved for uh, the uh, Spanish uh, sub coach, sub entrepreneur, sub racer, as you can see, and the multi-time uh, world champion already under the the ICF guidance. So he is clearly in front uh, avert your eyes folks from what's in the background there it looks like somebody sitting on his paddleboard in sluggos and if you've got kids watching uh, just uh, turn them away right now because we, they don't need to see that sort of thing if you were just looking the uh, that big white hotel behind is the Divari hotel that's the official hotel the icf world championship here hosting everybody 900 uh, yep. some paddlers out uh, there all uh, hanging out yep. around this hotel it's very cool and if to see and if you are uh if you're looking to come to a world championship and you didn't make it to this one, make sure you uh, start planning with your calendar for next year. November. November, November next year. is going to come back to Sarasota, Florida again for uh, the ICF World Championship. And if you are watching and you're in the neighborhood, uh, yes, if you go to that hotel, 17th floor is the party floor. That is uh, where the uh, Mathieu Astier, every night at around 11 o'clock at night, he just throws his door wide open. And anybody can come in and join. He shouts for the bar. He does a bit of singing, a bit of tabletop dancing. It's, uh, oh, we laugh. I, I would have mind a bit of karaoke action, actually, at some point. This what's, week. Your, what's your go-to karaoke song? Karaoke and a uh, case of beer. Coldplay, pro- probably. Coldplay. Which one? Coldplay. Yeah, which song? Like in My Place, maybe. Oh, I nice. That's probably the, the, the song I sing nice. most. Nice. Yeah, Rob, what are you? Yeah. Nope. Nope. No I karaoke. Stay away from that, Mike. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lucky we were. What a privilege to have you behind the microphone right That's now, right. then. My mom was the only person that told me I was a good singer. So is that, <laughs> is that go? Uh, is that in my just place? Nice. In my place. That's the one. The, what's the next line? Uh, uh, in my. Oh, you're sh- you're a dreadful karaoke singer. He well, I read it. Could have uh, <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, anyway. All right. Welcome though. back oh, to in the second yes. place. In second Stand place, actually, this is Vincent Guillaume who moved from fourth to third and now second. So Vincent Guillaume. The coach from uh, Brittany, France, is now in second place. We have Jan Schamek in third, Arnaud Ferelec in fourth. But at the front, it is Daniel Pares, the uh, multi-time world champion, ICF world champion. Got a message here from Rose D on our text line. She says, it is definitely Chris Dixon, the legendary sailor. He's my dad. Woo! You can take that to the take bank, folks. The bank right it there. is... And Rose, wow. can I say my apologies that I didn't know that before now? But even my even more sincere apologies go, that my two co-commentators had no idea who Chris Dixon was. Look at this finish! All right, comfortably oh. coming across the finish line. There he is. He's looking for seashells again, just wandering <laughs> up the beach, just looking around, <laughs> seeing if there's any a dom- shells there. A dominating lead between first and second. He wants to make a seashell necklace to take to Bali, and he's just and wandering. Another moustache coming through Good from moustache. France. Vincent Guillaume, the coach. In second place, well, uh, well managed race after a pretty sketchy uh, start. Vincent Guillaume did manage to uh, to get uh, a second place. Who is in third? Because uh, no, that, who, uh, who third was in, athlete, who was in the Hamek, earlier race? It is Jens Hamek. Jens Hamek is uh, third. Oh, yeah. He is through to the A final, and I think it is uh, the German athlete um, uh, Thomas Travel in uh, in fourth. All right. So, uh, are we heading to our last race? Last of the race day. of the day. I think we are. And guess who's in this field, boy? There he is, number twelve, the Nick Borough Fan Club. They're all online. 
They're online now. They've all tuned in again, and they're all saying as one, Nick, we don't care where you finish. Can you just take your shirt off? Uh, I mean, it's crazy, and we don't condone that. Let's have a look. No, not that shirt. Keep <laughs> your shirt on, Paolo. Keep, your shirt on Keep your shirt on, bro. Keep your shirt on, bro. strong. Keep your shirt. Yeah, that's Gary, Gary McClure. McClure. Who represented uh, Ireland, the Commonwealth Games, in boxing. So we've got a boxer. We've got a and, sailor. And, and a big hug to Hunter, uh, his daughter, watching from, uh, from home. Guido Donze in line number five. We met, missed Lefteris Marulakis from Greece and Ilian Tjegin from Asia. Scotty Keon from New Zealand. Here's Scotty Keon indeed. Oh, there is David Constant Crosby. Yeah, look at him, he looks bloody. Jeez. Also, a serious candidate for uh, a potential uh, final A. Bernard Boyan, who uh, shares his time between Slovenia and San Francisco. Here's Will Fernandez from Barcelona, Spain. Alan Lim from Singapore who's pretty good at uh, social media posting. On Dunzinger from Germany, also on Starboard. Take it off, take it Here's off. Here's the man. Take Here's it off. Here's the man. Get Nick it off. Bura. Take Look your shirt those, off, Look uh, at those classy uh, uh, shades. The Frenchman. He's a Frenchman. Frenchman who lives in Malaysia, represents yeah. uh, Malaysia. So Nick, I guess that comes from Well, Nicola. apparently uh, I've heard that uh, in Malaysia, because he's quite a big man, they, can't, they don't make shirts big enough for him there, so he just <laughs> has to walk around all the time without a shirt on. It's not his fault, folks. He doesn't want to take his shirt off. He wants a shirt, but in Malaysia they don't make them big enough for him, so he has to walk around. He's got the Festival de Cannes shades as well. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, that's, that's not his fault. He's just living in the moment. All right, Gino oh, Donze in the middle. And from New Zealand, Scott Kean, But it is Karsten Kermis from Germany in the lead pretty early. Everybody's getting bottled up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, on the starboard, who have we got here on the left-hand side? It is Lefteris Marulakis from Greece in the second position right now. Looking good at the front, though, I have to say. It's not, that's not Andunzinger. That's not Andunzinger in front. It is Karsten Kermis. Uh, Andunzinger is just behind. Uh, it looks a little bit like uh, like Karsten Kermis, but it is Karsten Kermis right in front. It's uh, we have the Greek paddler in second. It's Lefteris Marulakis. Uh, I think we've got Ilya Netyagin in third. Oh, oh we missed. We that. can't Somebody's see it, but they're definitely in swimming. Yep. Gee, there's a lot of love on the text line for a lot of paddlers here. Go Team Ireland! Says Patrick McCormack. Uh, Sylvia, who's had a cold shower, she might need another one in a moment because she's uh, just spotted the German and she's now going for the German as well. Who's the German? Oh, Arne Dins Dunsinger, maybe she's going for. Or is it Carsten Kermis? Uh, Dunsinger is not in the top three. No, but I think she's going. She was very excited to see his picture uh, on the screen at the oh. introduction. <laughs> uh, apparently, fun fact about Nick, he's a tennis coach too. Now that Hence the end the shades. A lot of opportunity that's to take right. your shirt off when you're playing tennis. Guido Donze on the yellow uh, hollow light board curve there. Uh, he could do well today, but he needs to get his qualification, obviously, into the top three to make it through to the A final. We saw Nick Bura uh, on Dunzinger right now. Scott Kean. Here's a Will Fernandez at buoy number two. Who else have we got? Uh, Paolo Nardini is last right now on the Sonova board in from Italy going pretty wide Paolo look how far how wide Paolo Nardini is actually pushing mm. his board you know, I think he's going out to see that fishing boat there just to see if they caught anything so he can order something for dinner tonight <laughs> 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 do you guys caught anything chicken. I might like <laughs> you got any baby sharks get the spicy chicken if we you get don't the spicy chicken no. you're fine it kills all the bacteria at the same time uh, we don't good eat baby shark so. folks we don't eat baby shark by the way do not do Carsten it. Carsten Kermis looking good at the front in first place. We still have one, uh, more than one lap to go. We've got the Greek paddler, 6-9-0. That's Marulakis. Lefteris Marulakis from Greece. In third place, this is uh, Ilya Netyagin. That's just a guess, but um, I'm pretty sure it is. 7-1-5, yes it is. And uh, Guido Donze on the light board Ooh, look at there, from Bieber. Switzerland in bubble. fourth. There's going to be a battle between these two. Oh, where's he going? Where's he? Oh, wait, come back. It's not over yet. Where are these He's going to use the win. They're going to use the win to their advantage. Down with a cheeky move on Nick Bua there. Yeah, could Nick Bua. The tennis coach. Tennis coach. From France slash Malaysia. And uh, Carsten Kerm is pretty, pretty strong also at the yeah, front. Yeah, looking huh? good. Looking good. 
with the new All Star. Actually, I should. Uh, this is just a. Uh, uh, something that is uh, Stonewall is kind of uh, trying to keep secret for now, and there's a 2024. You can have a glimpse of the new All Star right on what your screen. trying to keep it secret. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's going to run detail. That's a, one of the uh, main big okay. changes uh, yeah. for for Star Wars. Are, we, so are we getting a first look at it here? Are we? Is this first, the first look? look? Just just released. It, it was introduced uh, to the uh, to the Star Wars. Uh, aficionados just a few days ago at the starboard party uh, but i was not able to uh, to actually publish some uh, some detailed uh photographs we of uh, i can't believe you're not writing this, uh, while you're commentating yeah. right now of why, this, why uh, of were this, you uh, threatened uh, were you threatened with uh yes they told me look i know people in thailand so you better behave while mm. you're uh, in my on my turf yeah. <laughs> yeah. And because and they said this any sign that you are going to breach our confidence we are going to lace one of your chicken nuggets that's right with a laxative and little does he know done it's already happened all right what's happening here top three go through not much doubt about uh, our man in front Kermes Marilakis is he second now? Nedijin is third. Yes, uh, Donze fourth. They are spread out like I haven't used the term today. I like to slip it in at least once a day. They are spread out like Brown's cows. It's an Australian saying, Rob. Don't look at me like that. It's a thing we'd say <laughs> in Australia if everything is just scattered everywhere. You oh. say they're strung out like Brown's cows. I'm gonna I think from memory I'll there was a one promise to you. Uh, I need to Ross, Google that, that everybody tomorrow, else around yeah. the world. On my last day, I'm going to use that expression, but because I, I still haven't figured it out. <laughs> well, I think I think what happened uh, uh, there was a farmer, and I'm not sure what his name was. Maybe he was Australian, so maybe it was Bruce. Let's say his name was Bruce, Bruce Brown, and he had a lot of cows, but he wasn't very good at maintaining his fences. And sometimes what would happen uh, if there was a storm or something, or maybe a dog had just wandered onto the property, the cows would run all over the place. And now, children, welcome to story time <laughs> with Ross. <laughs> and all the neighbours would go past and they'd go, look at bloody Brown's cows strung out all over the place. Oh, oh, there we go. Who's taking a fall? NSP behind Guido Donze. Behind Scott Kean now, Scott Kean moving into uh, fourth place. I think behind Guido Donze is taking the third place. How many strokes? Count them quick. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, only three, so that's Nick all right. Bura mm. now on the uh, on the All Star is uh, Arn Dunziger at that uh, green buoy from Germany as well, with a similar hairdo as Carsten Kermis in front, just uh, slightly taller than the uh, the man in front. Carsten Kermis from Germany. The, uh, I believe he's involved with the uh, German that distribution of starboard in Germany. Smooth, all out on his own there. Oh, actually, uh, uh, Lefteris Malukakis from yeah, uh, he's Greece. He's making a move. He's making a bit of a move here. He's, uh, uh, he might even almost. I'm. He might might have realized that he's not by himself as much. He's. I think he might. I'm going to back him to snatch the win here. He's going to sneak up there because Carsten's got his back turned. He doesn't know he, that. Uh, Don't beware. go on the inside. Beware of Greek sparing gifts. On the right gifts. side of the buoy. Oh yeah, watch out for that. See, oh, I think. Watch where you're going here. They're playing the wind. Playing Both the of these chaps, as uh, we head down to the finish line for our final race today, gentlemen. Uh, it's been a fun day. It's been an interesting day. We've seen uh, lots of really interesting paddling, some very interesting styles, some interesting techniques. I think we've all learned something today. Nice finish by Carsten Kermis, the tiki, tiki athlete, the starboard athlete, unleashing his, uh, his belt leash and He's claiming happy. the win. Yep. Straight to the A final nice for finish. Carsten Kermis. Two more athletes. Who was the paddler that we were not sure if he carried his paddle? Oh, look at that. Oh, no look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice All, we nice to All we need now is That's him to a smash Greek, a plate uh, on his head. That's Greek dancing In true for you. Greek style. And I, I, I don't like using cliches because that is a cliche. But it would be good to see him smash a plate on his head when he crosses Let's the finish go line. go get that guy a plate. Ilya Netsyagin is the third athlete in these fourth heats to qualify for the A final tomorrow. And who's going to make it to the B final? Guido Donze, um, Scott Kean, Scott Kean, Kian, Guido Works Donze Scotty. from Switzerland. Yep. So uh, New Zealand and Switzerland are through to the B final. And 
Who is that? Oh, bloody hell. Someone just that, is <laughs> that is a Bernard Boyan. Bernard Boyan. He, he put out Slovenia. for the high five and he got blanked. And nobody likes to see that happen. Get out of the way. There's more people coming. So the we'll see Bernard doing a good job. in the B final tomorrow. And this was the last, was it? Now, uh, Matthew or Rob, uh, who yes. was the athlete that we thought maybe got rid of his paddle before he crossed the finish line? We've got to see when they put We're the official... We're not going to say that out loud. We've got to see... Uh, <laughs> who was it? We've got to see if he... It, Daniele Cani? Who, 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 who dropped Jack the paddle. Jack, that was Daniele Cani, I'm pretty sure. We're going to have the results in a minute. That's ah. what we're all going to be watching for. Oh, there's see. a nice little sprint finish right there. Too. Yeah, good. That's exciting at the end of the day. It's been a long day, and they've still got a sprint in them. So, If you're with us still right now, we hope you I'm join surprised. us tomorrow. <laughs> I'm surprised. If, you're, if you are still with us, it's very impressive. There's probably somebody that you wanted to watch, not listening to uh, yeah. us so far. It's, but it's, it's probably don't like forget, tomorrow morning, uh, I think uh, the – we 8:30. start at 8 8:30. 30 nice and early with uh, the men's here we go so here plus. we have uh, the uh, the women's uh, Marie Buchanan Marlene Iceberg Sarah Odera and uh, Katerina Jalova Edie Talud and Tracy Mock all through to the A final in the women's 50 plus also joining them in the A final tomorrow it will be Penny Seato Zangfo Hu and Natalia Fon Anna Ochegrosso, Emmanuel Marcon got through Matthew, and Yongmi Kim as well into the. See, that's going to be a nice final, a crackerjack final for the 50 plus women tomorrow. Now let's have a look at who will be in the men's final tomorrow in the 50 plus. Peter Vidart, of course, Mark Forrester, and uh, Koshi Matsumoto also through. Olivia Garud, he didn't get through, Matthew. No, he's going to the B final to Mohiro Kyuchi as well. B final and Chris Stringer. Uh, the Canadian is going to the B final. I think David Crosby was a Canadian as That's well. That's the one. Yeah, I need to check that. Neil Young, definitely a Canadian, no doubt about that. Daniel, woo! So, so he did. He had the pad. Wow, did he though? <laughs> <laughs> okay then, all right then. All right. All right. So Daniel Kenny through Simon Trudel Perro from Canada through Holger Aston Fluke from Austria through Richard Proust. He'll be uh, disappointed. He had a couple of swims during that uh, that race, so he only just missed out. Well, when I say just missed out, eight seconds. That's as as well as Norbert uh, Hodel from yep. Austria and Bardesvant, who uh, who Daniel are Paris. going to the B, B final tomorrow. Very good. Vincent Gulam, Jan Schremecht. Also through from Chechia into now the A final. And B final, Thomas Trabel from Germany, Christoph Connery from uh, Chile slash France, and Arno uh, Fene Fenelec, I think, uh, in the, uh, from France, going to the B final as well. So, yeah, we do uh, thank those who have been watching online. I know you're probably itching to go and watch the final season of The Crown, which is now online, and you've been waiting all day for the racing to finish so you can go off and see <laughs> what happens to the royal family. Well, let me tell you, where shall we start? Uh, but now uh, you have some time to go and watch the next season of The Crown because we have finished for today. Uh, my very big thank you. Well, I need to ask you first, Rob, you, thank you very much for joining us in the commentary box. What have you learned, my friend? from watching the racing today that you are going to take into action tomorrow when uh, Matthew and I are going to be calling you in your semi-final tomorrow. What, what have you learned? Well, I learned that cows get spaced out in Australia. <laughs> they don't get spaced out. They just take advantage of <laughs> not being fenced in. they just like wandering around. Uh, well, I'll be up bright and early in the morning for I think my final is one of the first two or three, and uh, I'll make sure to, to swim with some sharks. In that thousand meter, and maybe uh, be able to rejoin for the afternoon here. Well, you're always welcome, of course. Uh, Matthew Astier, thank you, my friend. I know that um, we joked about it, but you uh, you were struggling with the chicken nugget issues earlier this morning, but you've managed to make it through to the end. What's your what's your dining plans for tonight, my friend? Squid. I'm not sure. Probably a nice uh, dinner with my family. Probably uh, another massage, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. As soon as you get back home, you know, then then uh, you, d you don't find massages at, at the same no, price. No, <laughs> not, not over $6. No, not for $6, <laughs> seriously. And good ones, too. Proper Thai massages. 
so, look, that's it for today. Thank you very much, wherever you've been watching around the world. Uh, we've really appreciated your comments. And the happy thing I, I'm, I'm happy to report is no negative comments today, which is a nice change. Uh, we've actually just had good, positive feedback. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. And well, we're waiting for the last results. I thought we had those. Did we have the last results or not? Oh, my God. I d I Before signing off, we are waiting. We're waiting for the, for the last, last results. Result. A little bit delirious here. It's been a long day sitting in the tent with these two blokes, I can tell you. I'd much rather be out there swimming with the small sharks. I'm so glad. I'll tell you what I've learned today. You talked about learning about the cows being disorientated in Australia. I've learned that I don't need to swim inside those ropes tomorrow morning. I can just swim wherever I want. Free swim. Unless I want to get hit by a boat, uh, which is the reason why they put the, the ropes up, apparently. All right. So I don't think we have any more results coming through. I think... Uh, yeah, we saw, we saw, we all saw what happened. Uh, Signing off. Thank you, everybody, for your um, your company today. We're very happy to bring you the penultimate day of racing in the 2023 ICF Stand Up Paddling Canoe World Championships. Thank you, Sue, for your lovely comment. That's a nice way to finish off for the day. She's been watching from New Zealand. Thank you, folks. We'll be back with you from 8.30 tomorrow morning. I uh, hope you can join us then wherever you are in the world. Spread the word around to your friends. Uh, if they want to listen to a few buffoons absolutely butchering what is a beautiful sport, then tune in tomorrow morning for eight, from 8.30, Thai time. But for me, Ross Solly, it's farewell for now. Bye-bye, everyone. Tomorrow, 8.30, for more technical race action. Keep it classy, San Diego. Keep it classy. <laughs> <laughs>